life. Okay, it will take a bit. It'll take a bit. My goodness. Oh, we are live. Oh, good lord. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if we are live. You're probably going to have to refresh the page or something. Actually, wait, if you can hear this, it's all fine. There we go. I've got an advert for my own stream. Incredible. Um, welcome all of you people watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, at the moment, you'll notice the server isn't open. Uh, it will be very shortly. We've just been making some slight modifications to it. Uh, you'll notice there's been several f fine additions, like, say, um, this burning chamber, um, which is brilliant. It's entirely automated as well. We can put someone in there, and then they just get set on fire in front of a ni nice live studio audience, which is perfect. Um, so that's something which we're having the church do this session. We've uh, actually finalized a shame pile for the people who break rules. Um, we've kind of also established some new rules um, over on the rule boards, which basically uh, streamlines all of the guilds, so they actually have to follow a bunch of complicated rules now. Uh, we also have new rules for the peasants and so on, which they need to follow. Uh, Minty is around, but, you know, where is Minty? Oh, there's Minty. <laughs> oh, Minty in his little shame corner. Hello, chat, by the way. Are you having a lovely time? I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, allow me to explain for all of you who understand what's happening and also don't understand what's happening. Uh, this is our incredible Minecraft server. The way the server works is very simple. We have about 150 players on the server. Um, and basically those players are on a hardcore server where if they die they're immediately banned and new players then immediately come in and fill the role. Uh, the server is set up so that I'm the king of the server and effectively everyone else has to obey my um, authoritarian lovely rule. Minty, uh, however, he's not very good at doing that um, and so he's found himself in a little prison cell which uh, sucks to be minty, but you know, some of us didn't break the complicated redstone rules, okay? Actually, it's also arguable if minty even broke the redstone rules. Um, we also made some changes to the warehouse so that you don't actually need to, uh, well, go into the warehouse. If you're depositing stuff, it goes in there. And we also built up like a little airlock to stop people just running in and stealing stuff, as well as getting rid of all of the wooden trap doors, which were on the windows on the bottom floor. I'm not sure why the people who built it had trap doors, because it meant you could open a trap door and just open a chest inside. A terrible construction idea um, that for some reason no one noticed other than me. Uh, just because I'm, you know, I'm that good at Minecraft. We also have these lovely warnings now, so that uh, when you actually do, I have it. Yes, when you leave Spiftopia, you get a message uh, basically alerting you that you're in the wastelands. And in areas like this, so just across this bridge, PvP is enabled, and players can kill the well, they can kill each other. Um, in this area in Spiftopia, you're fine. You're pretty much safe. Uh, except from being killed by me um, or guards because they can PvP in this zone, so watch out. Oh, and also, what else have we got? We've also set up a Assassin's Guild now, uh, which is basically a way to um, increase the interaction and the change which people can um, <laughs> can have on the stream. Like, say, Skelly Vamps here, saying, I'm getting this out early, kill Minty. Basically, how this system works is that in the description for the live stream, there is a list of things you can do uh, with donations, and then uh, based on what you donate and what you ask for in your donation, we will do. We have a guild of players set up who will go about and execute the will of the chat, the Assassin's Guild, and um, and Espionage Guild. And one of those things, as very generously donated uh, via the fantastic medium of... Uh, oh, let me like, YouTube just refresh because of course it isn't showing me who did donate. Skelly Vamps donates a lovely $25 uh, to say uh, kill Minty. Uh, this is actually a very easy thing to do because I can switch to GMS and go, hey, Ood, um, <laughs> uh, Skelly uh, Vamps says kill minty execute order 69 <laughs> oh my goodness we all have special swords as well for killing minty which is brilliant wait he's running oh wait i can do it i forgot i can kill minty <laughs> there we go 
Oh, there we go. And I'm pretty sure he's dead. Lovely. Issue with killing Minty is he doesn't bring up a death message because uh, he's a very he's a he's a slimy sausage and also a moderator, meaning he doesn't have uh, an actual death message. But thank you very much, Skelly Vamps, for your generous donation. Trial. He's still on trial, chat. Okay, but this was an assassination. It's different. Okay, this is the justice system. To an extent. Okay, the justice system, slightly complicated. Oh my goodness. Um, hashtag free Minty project, Minty was framed. William Cruz, there's zero documented evidence that Minty was framed, other than all of the stream perspectives of people framing Minty. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Ah, I hope you're all having a lovely time as well. Um, in the live stream chat. This is going to be a nice um, stream, should only be about three hours in length and you know we'll cut it down into a nice little video and hopefully I will be able to go about my aim today which is to become the god of this entire server. I mean I'm already the king of this server which is you know brilliant, it's lovely to be king but what's better than being worshipped by subjects, it's being worshipped by fanatical believers that I am an almighty supreme being because whilst I am an almighty supreme being evidently people like Minty don't think so. Oh piss off you cheeky sausage. Ah, the Die, die. I mean, this is this is me helping the peasants. Who says I'm not a man of the people? Some would say my my gladiator arenas aren't a good sign of assisting the peasantry. They're wrong. Oh. My goodness. Do 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 do. Hello, chat. I hope you're having a lovely time. Spiff, I own a 150 box of Yorkshire tea. That's very good. Um, so this server is pay to win. Uh, no, this server is sadly not pay to win. Um, I wish it was, but it's it's actually not. Um, it's, I mean, theoretically, you could try and force your way onto the server with paid entry by just killing all all of the other members off of the server. But um, we have we have contingencies in place to stop that. Um, so don't worry. Um, one cool guy says Minty's mum for mod. Uh, one cooler guy, I have never met Minty's mother, but I'm sure she would make a lovely moderator and she probably also wouldn't dabble in redstone. So thank you very much for your 50 Australian doularoos. That's very generous. And Gmoma Garbs, uh, praise the almighty Lord Spiff. Oh, thank you very much for your very generous 10 doularoos. Very, very generous. Ah, you know what? I think we're actually pretty much ready. This is a lovely setup we have. We've tidied up the server a bit. We've bulldozed a bunch of houses which are rubbish and terrible and didn't fit in. And I think we're ready. Um, can we make the server online twice a week? We can't. I'm a, I can't stream that much. Do you know how difficult it is to organize it once a week? It's crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, is someone asking for me to resurrect LOL? LOL has been resurrected this week. Uh, Lollipop1 has been resurrected uh, simply because uh, he won a game of CSGO and the bet we had running was that if he won the CSGO game he could be well he could come back on the server and yeah he did good so he's back um, <laughs> Commander Y I just had to teach an American how to make tea are you proud of me King Spiff I am okay this is something complete segue from everything we're doing now um, Connor you can open up the server as well but I have seen an American make tea okay Commander Y I'm sure the way your American made tea was better than this. So the way this American made tea, because in America most of them don't have access to kettles, which if you don't know, are little cylinders which you put on and they just electrically heat water. It's incredible. It's amazing. They just boil it to a perfect boiling point and then you can pour that water into a mug, add your tea bag. It's amazing. This American this thought that a kettle was kind of like one great big electric teapot and so what he did was he dropped the tea bag into the kettle and hit the boil which as everyone knows is a horrible disgusting and terrible idea. Uh, why on earth he did that it, I don't know but naturally he was greatly mocked for it. It was it was disgusting absolutely horrible. Oh my goodness yeah because all you end up with is just a lime scaly cup of tea. It's Oh, it's heresy. But yes, he dropped the tea bag into the kettle. For all of you Yorkscast fans out there, that's Daltos of the Yorkscast. Okay, I regularly beat him in Civ uh, 6, so all is justified. All is fair. I get my revenge. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel, for your $10. I love your videos. It's the first time I've ever donated. Keep up the good work. Long live the king. Thank you very much, Daniel Featherstone. Very generous $10. Ruse. 
Steve Jones, £25. Good afternoon. Do you have time to talk? Do you have time today to talk about our Lord and Saviour uh, Spiff? Yes, exactly. That's what we're that's what we're working with now. People having time to talk about their Lord and Saviour. Look at them. They even have time to look at the new rules. Oh, look at them go. Oh, we also have fantastic oh Lowell's back. Hello, Lowell. <laughs> He's had to change his name and everything. Uh, Yes, we've got some brilliant things, like we overhauled the ranking system to make it easier, so more peasants will move up society. Uh, we will basically be streamlining peasants into guilds, so to stop them being, um, well, you know, forced around into stupid situations. Um, <laughs> apparently Law will now serve the kingdom greatly. Well done, Law. Good. We also have ways of dealing with all of the people who were trying to DM me, so I'm actually excited to see what happens when someone DMs me, because the first person to DM me has a pleasant surprise awaiting them <laughs> oh yes um it rhymes with uh with hef i guess um i'm very excited bandit guilds oh yeah there's um there's some bandits now You've got to keep your eyes out um also the rules aren't completely over i want hg wells to probably add some more um like laws and it's also up to the irs to do that um Someone, thank you very much for your hundred sec. Good evening, oh Lord, or things true, uh, the true King Spiff. Thank you very much, someone. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, Harvinger, you can't just give another twenty five dollars to kill Minty again. I mean, actually, you can. Um, I need to, uh, I need to put out a hit on Minty. So the way the um, Assassins Guild works is, I won't actually be going out and doing the assassins. I'll have people. Uh, the assassinations. I'll have people doing it for me, which is perfect. It's exactly how I want it done. Thank you very much, Nathan Myers, as well. Um, you're so glad to finally catch me live. Um, you love falling asleep to my smooth voice. Oh, my friend. Just clip this audio bit and loop it. You have done a fantastic job today, and you deserve the sleep that you're about to get. Just close your eyes, relax. Remember the glorious thing that is drinking Yorkshire tea, and just have a lovely day. My goodness, you've earned this sleep. You really have. And there you go. That's your ASMR um, outro. Um, this, oh, we've got some new people joining this server from a distance. Oh, it's Colonel Savage has arrived. Very nice. Very, very nice. Lovely stuff. Oh, my goodness. 20 Australian dollars to praise Mango. There is no praising of Mango. She played, okay. So for those of you that don't know, Mango is my fiance. And yesterday she played Minecraft for the first time. Uh, the parts of her playing Minecraft for the first time I witnessed included... Oh my god, I've got Minty's head. <laughs> a brilliant trophy. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I absolutely love it. Um, oh, that's perfect. So part of what I watching her entailed was for her to place down a block, instead of actually having it in her hotbar, she had it in her offhand. And that was how she was placing things down on the floor via the offhand, uh, which was beautiful and very cute to watch um it's <laughs> very adorable oh my goodness um but yes i've actually got minty's head and this is very good um where is minty actually i don't know let me do it gmsp and then slash teleport to minty to fresh where is he oh oh i know where he is that's a <laughs> oh i'm not revealing that yet oh my uh, that's a lovely thing but we'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> Minty is in a unique spot of the map after rebelling from our colony. Um, he's decided to instead set up a bandit camp and will be raiding our various peasants throughout the course of the stream, uh, which would be good fun. My goodness. Oh, and seriously, thank you very much to all of the people here watching and the very, very generous donations to the stream. Seriously, that's re really kind of all of you. Um, and just all the people who've liked the stream. Pat yourselves on the back, you lovely sausages. Really, really generous people. Mark Shaw, would I consider a royal historian to keep a record? We actually have that. We have someone setting, setting up a library to keep record of all of this, um, which should be good. Um, let me uh, actually, I realize I need to do an announcement. Slash burb royal. Um, welcome back to the kingdom. Um, today, uh, things are slightly different so make sure to check the rules and ask guild leaders for a job um, there is currently a 
reward uh, for Minty's uh, head. Simply kill, uh, simply kill him, and bring me his head for a fantastic prize uh, and promotion. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I need to hold paper. Oh, I forgot paper. Oh, that's all changed now. I can't just royal burb whenever I want. I need paper beans. Uh, two. Oh, my goodness. Um, let me find it. Let me find some paper. Oh, my God. I've also just got a bit of Minty's head as well, because apparently everyone has a bit of Minty's head lying around. The guy shares his head so frequently, it's, uh, it's impossible not to end up <laughs> receiving a head from Minty. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> right, time to do by Royal Burb. Bam. Oh, wait, got to hold the paper. I'm such a such a boomer. The paper, the, that player does not exist. There is no player. It's a Royal Burb. Or did I, did I beans up how I do it? I did, didn't I? Oh, my goodness. Oh, and also, if you're, one, if you're watching this and you're wondering why were you banned on the server, um... So the reason why is, um, there we go, royal decree done. The reason why is because we banned everyone on the, uh, we banned everyone on the server who uh, was under the age of 14. Uh, personally, I wanted to make it 16, but, you know, that would probably upset a lot of people. Um, just because, as is the issue with doing a lot of Minecraft stuff, we get a lot of young people, and there's nothing wrong with being a young person. Um, it's really cool. It's brilliant. You've got some very exciting things to look forward to and to do. Um, but I'm just not particularly comfortable with them being on that Discord, because it, it's not that our Discord is, you know, a filthy, horrible place. It's just that the vast majority of the people on my Discord are over the age of 18, and it just kind of feels a bit weird and wrong. Um, and also it violates Discord's terms of service to have people under the age of 13. Uh, so yeah, that's why, that's why you're probably banned. Sorry, friend. Um, we, I, I'm actually very proud of how we did it. So if you're not aware, chat, what I did was I put in the Discord announcements that we were conducting a census and we had people react with what age category they were in and we then skimmed through the emote reactions and then just banned all the people who'd reacted with anything less than 14. Because, uh, you know, those high 100 IQ plays. And it led to some very funny things, like me receiving um, an email being like, why was I banned off of the Discord? And I just said, because uh, you probably reacted to the thing saying you're under 14. And the, the guy was very polite. He just responded with, oh. <laughs> so I felt really sad. <laughs> was... <laughs> we scammed a lot of children that day, but it was a necessary scam. Uh, thank you, Vito, for your $50 to kill Minty twice. Um, okay, that's... Uh... Slash uh, burb, um, slash burb royal. The price on Minty's head just uh, doubled. Um, the winner receives. Um, oh, what should we say? Oh, a diamond sword. Oh, there's not many of those, and I have actually got a spare one, so it makes sense. Uh, so thank you very much, Vetoed. Now we're probably going to see massive swathes of people running off in uh, vaguely uh, that direction to try and get to Minty. <laughs> we'll see if they actually run into Minty and if they even survive, because he's got a pretty interesting setup going. My goodness. Um, jail Minty in the shame pole. Thank you very much uh, for your money, Chris. The way jailing Minty in the shame pole goes is that someone actually has to go out and capture him, and then we imprison him in the shame pole. You know, it's a it's not a sexy shame pole, it's just a shame pole. Oh, and also here's the incredible warehouse setup we now have. Um which I'm personally very happy with. Um Oh we've got Veil vale on the server now as well. That's very good. Oh, this is very nice. I'm so impressed with what we now have set up. The whole tax system is perfect. Novel got onto the server. Oh lovely. So Novel is another person working with the IRS today, um, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My goodness. Oh. So, how are you all doing today? I'm 100% not just leaning over here to type something on my laptop, which I have to the side of me. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, beans. <laughs> I got yeeted off the server. <sighs> Did the server go down? 
Nope, that was just me getting yeeted. Did I hit the AFK thing? I wasn't still for that long. Uh, where is Hobo? He's been resurrected, but whether he chooses to come back this week is entirely on him. I can't just force a player to come out of the woodwork. Um, it is a case of he has to um, actually uh, come onto the server himself. But he's he's been removed from the whitelist, so that's all that matters. Um, okay, server stop. That's fine. Server's coming back up on us in a second. All is good. Uh, now all I have to do is just sit in here and... Look at the beautiful Yogg's cast. <laughs> uh, it'll probably take a couple of minutes, guys. Oh, Matt K, thank you very much for $100. Hey, Spiff, your videos once saved me from suicide and once help and helped me out of depression. Um, I don't want to reply. Uh, oh, right, that's fine. Thank you very much for your crazy donation, um, Sir Fanny. Um, I hope you're doing much better now. Like, depression and suicide's a really rough thing. Um, like it's it's not an easy thing to go through and certainly a lot of people in the world are they, they're going through it at the moment um because they're in really difficult situations with complicated home lives and so on um and yeah it's it's not an easy thing to go through and if you're out there and having a rough time it's all good you've got a million other people out there who really just want to want to see you want to see you do well um can often feel like the world's against you but there's so many lovely people out there. It's it's all good, trust me. Um, although it's a, you know, takes a lot of... It, it's not like you can just say, be happy. Um, it's a very complicated thing, depression. Oh my God. It's it's Lewis Brindley of the Yogscast himself, ladies and gentlemen. On his alt account, Bomboy. Um, oh my God, it's it's two Lewis Brindleys of the Yogscast. How many alt accounts does this man have? This is incredible. Oh, I'm your biggest fan, Lewis. Oh, I can... Can I get a picture with uh, the guy from the Yogg's cast? Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. There's so many Lewises around. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That over there is uh, Sander, by the way. He, um, I'm pretty sure he, he built most of this with Zoof. This lovely server. Um, it is this server here is the Yogscast one. It's closing down shortly, which is a shame. But you know, servers have to go up and down. Those things happen. Uh, they made a lovely thing. Our server is now back. Lovely. Thank you, Connor. That was really swift. My goodness. Here we go. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at all these lovely people. It is almost quite good fun to uh, drop by and have all of the people who are watching the stream suddenly rock up and see what they're up to. Oh, this Outback Cool dude. Oh, he's our lovely pub landlord. They're building some extensions to their pub. Um, and actually, they've moved it into a different location as well. God, I have so many diamonds. It's crazy. Um, oh, and there's also a market getting built here, which is very nice. I'm excited to see what players will do with that. Uh, there was also several houses which we've taken down. Like, say, Funky Cow here built a absolutely ridiculous two-story monstrosity with glass despite being a peasant and so we tore it down uh, for obvious reasons <laughs> we also tidied up this uh this area here um where someone has immediately tried to build a house is this a house that they're building it best not be well maybe it can be a house if it's a house it best be a bunk house because um, previously there was just a big ugly farm here and it just doesn't make sense for there to be a farm in the middle of a city uh, Fist Bean donates five quid to say, Am I a Tory? I'm going to answer this question once as it comes up every single stream. Just any vaguely political question. Oh, Vale's got his diamond armor. Hello, Vale. Are you doing well, uh, Lord? You look most jazzy today. Oh, I love Vale. Um, oh, and also, uh, I need to say. Link, uh, Veil today, um, Veil, I have an announcement for you. You are being promoted to head of the IRS, which for those of you that don't know, is the, uh, it's the in, it's, uh, it's like the in-realm tax collection, beans, I've forgotten it, um, I have forgotten what IRS stands for. Um, also, Lynx is the branch uh, 
manager now. Uh, it's the Imperial Revenue Service, of course. There we go. Fantastic. Just a uh, just that kingly bit of dementia going on, you know. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love working with uh, with El. Oh, we also have our first footman, who is Russ Pope. So footmen are our unique promotion of guards, uh, and basically they ca they're the only rank of guards which can actually fight in towns. Uh, so they're basically the only class who can PvP players in the safe area, um, which is a great way of like catching criminals. But the vast majority will be spent um, actually uh, finding criminals and then just handcuffing them and then putting them in a cell. Anyway, back to the uh, boring political question, um, am I a Tory? Uh, as with all questions to do with politics, it doesn't bloody matter. Um, I'm an online internet persona that drinks a lot of tea. Uh, I should not be a source of political opinions. I will never source any political opinions. And uh, yeah, I just, I wouldn't listen to me. Um, actually, I mean, I'd listen to me as a joke, but just take everything I say with a pinch of Briti British satire. Um, I don't particularly... Politics don't really have a place on this channel. Uh, they don't have a place in the comment section of this channel. They don't have a place on the Discord because we ban all of it. And same for the live stream chat. It's just not what we're here for. We're here to have fun in Minecraft um, with our friends, not talk about, you know, upsetting real world stuff um, at the moment. Do, 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 do. Cygnus the Wizard. I love your content, man. I also brought some Yorkshire tea. I hope you enjoy that, my friend. Thank you, Cygnus. Very generous. There's a lot of very generous people out there. Oh. oh, you found a meat eater. Oh, uh, okay. Normally, I would say report this to a guard, but I will uh, take interest in this. Pascal, take me to... Uh, they're selling it? Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Someone actually selling meat. Oh, this can 100% be uh, be stopped. Pascal is low-key dressed like the Pope, but, you know, that's fine. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go over here. Where is this person selling meat? I mean, they're probably going to pull the excuse of, oh, I was selling it to the nobles only, but it's entirely possible that they uh, they weren't. Uh, in which case, we we stick them in the fire pit, um, which I'm excited about, very excited about. All right, where is it? Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, fish. This is an issue. <laughs> Murloc, oh my. Well, uh, we're going to have to keep an eye out for Murloc. Technically meet. Um, Rose Pope, keep an eye out for uh, Murloc. Arrest him and put him in the shame pit. Um, <laughs> the pit of shame is a beautiful creation. Um, it's... It spent a full maybe 10 minutes of construction uh, to create the elaborate system of a trapdoor and iron bars. Um, truly incredible, truly amazing. Um, oh my goodness, is this someone asking me for something? Oh, it's the first one of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Someone asking for things from me. Okay, hello. Are you trying to get my attention. <laughs> this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Do, 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 do. Perhaps, my lord. Okay. I will give you one chance. Uh, don't do it again. Ah. <laughs> uh. So the rule is, if someone asks me for something, something fun is going to happen to them. Uh, because of how much last stream I got bombarded by DMs and messages of people being like, Hello, can I be, can I be guard, please? Can I please be guard? I would like to be the guard. Um, uh, please, um, guard. What is this? Quarry Guild members only. <laughs> Funky! <laughs> Funky. Um... The guilds need to 
be outside the city. Only housing um, and bases for guilds should be inside the city. Nice try, Funky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that's the kind of fun thing which uh, the IRS can crank down on. Um, <gasps> Andrew Glob... Lubuiski says assassins kill not, not true for bothering Spiff. <laughs> this is it. This is it. It's time for an assassination meeting. Okay. Um, for the assassin who is probably watching the stream and keeping track of things, I will meet you in the secret back room of the uh, of, of the pub. Um, uh, for there is a contract. Um, this is very important. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew. You have uh, you've you've made me very proud of that donation. Can assassins get assassinated? Yeah, one hundred percent. If you put an assassination hit out on a player, all it is is one uh, one attempt. Um, if they if the assassination fails, it fails. There's nothing we can do. Uh, but it's it's an attempt on a player, um, and hopefully it's 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 gonna work, um, and the person will get killed. They equally might not. Um, Oh, um, I am having a meeting. Uh, make sure no one disturbs me other than a shifty uh, individ individual. <laughs> oh, this should be good fun. Uh, minty head. Oh, have I still got the minty head on? <laughs> oh my goodness, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking that minty head off. Oh my goodness, that's a, uh, yeah. Not all about that minty head. How do you become an assassin? Um, there's some, you've, you've got to be, you've, you've got to be picked out to be an assassin. It's not something that you just rock up and become. Um, there's a, an elite hidden group and I have to go through a, a, a hidden agent in order to actually reach them, which will be good fun. My goodness. Oh. Right, once this person arrives, I'm actually going to quickly nip to the loo because I drank like four cups of tea. So, uh, one sec. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Entertain yourself, chat. What cup of tea are you drinking? Lightweight. I'm drinking beer, water, Magnum Dong. You can't drink Magnum Dong. I suppose you could. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge you for drinking Magnum Dong. Um, whatever floats your boat. Um, actually, no, I can do. I can go into spectator mode until he arrives. There we go. Oh, we've got. Oh, Ood's coming apparently. Okay, instead. Um, <laughs> is Ood our shifty individual for today? Nope. Ood's just going up there. Okay. Right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're drinking Ribena. Ribena is not the beverage of choice for this very important time. Uh, sire, I see your shifty individual uh, come through. <laughs> this man does uh, not look <laughs> shifty. Um, I am looking for a different shifty guy. <laughs> Uh, Ood is not. Ood is full e-boy today. Um, Ood is one of my incredible moderators who recently dyed his hair bright purple uh, because <laughs> unknown reasons. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wrong shifty guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really complicated. There are so many, so many different shifty guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> You've only had four cups of tea. I've had more than four cups of tea. Um, uh, who are you? Um, who sent me? Uh, you're not. You're not the one. <laughs> Go away. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Flawless RP. It's amateur fighter, not suspicious. Uh, hello there. <laughs> Are you the contact? <laughs> oh, good evening, my king. Lovely. Ah, uh, oh, good. Um, uh, I have an individual that needs taking care of. Uh, does our mutual uh, friend um, have the ability to murder a peasant? Ah, oh, this is the true test of uh, test of faith. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm so glad we actually had this tested and sorted because this is brilliant. <laughs> The, uh, oh, he can kill a target within the city walls. Incredible. Um, I will allow him to, uh, to do it in whatever place suits uh, him. Try not to get caught. Um, Andrew um, placed a bounty of... Fifty dollars on uh, Nartari's uh, head. Um, once he is killed, bring his head and mount it on the wall in here. There we go. <laughs> this is it, chat. We've done it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. He's off on his way. Goodbye, uh, amateur fighter, um, the dark assassin. He's really totally not suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Look at him go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and also, it's it's the fantastical court jester, Woosty Sauce. Um, hello, Woosty. Oh, I love a good bit of Woosty. Oh, he's a really lovely guy. Very funny. Very funny individual. Oh, I'm hungry. I should probably eat bread. Uh, now, one thing players will probably start to notice uh, very quickly on the server is that food will go down a bit faster and also food will take longer to grow. Oh my goodness, we're immediately up to 114 players with only 27 ping. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, turn auto jump off, Spiff? No, I love it. It drives, it drives people insane to have auto jump on. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Ah. Oh. This is very good. Oh, actually, I've, I've realised I need to go. I need to go see my castle because it's currently under construction, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a very interesting place. I do love my castle. Um, it's over here, through these trees. Um, they built an incredible bridge. Oh my goodness! Just look at how awesome this looks. I mean, it's not ready yet, but they're getting pretty close. So, uh, welcome to the fantastic and legendary Spiff Castle. Oh, it truly is beautiful. Um, oh, wow. Look at them. Look at them work on this glorious thing. Oh, they're absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm so impressed by what they've gotten up to. It's really, really a sight to behold. My king, I turned my suit around this time. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness. Imperial Fish is the most confusing person to talk to because his entire character is back to front. Uh, well done. <laughs> Just... You can't even look at his face. It's so confusing. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for the $50, Free Don. Um, you've asked me to implement an IRA guild, and by that I hope you mean um, Inland Revenue Association Guild, because uh, if you mean the other thing, then, yeah, we definitely can't implement that into the game. Oh, actually. Um, hello. Um, I actually need to speak to uh, the Mining Guild. Uh, I need to speak to the head of the mining guild, uh, Florin. Uh, fetch him for me here. There we go. This will be good. I will simply have to stand here and wait for the mine. Oh, here he comes. Ah, uh, here you are. Um, uh, so, Dwarven, um, you have done an 
excellent job. Um, I now promote you to. Uh, oh, what do we actually have? Uh, what were the roles which we had prepared for this? I've forgotten all of the tracks we had. He is. Well, he's on the mine. Oh, so he'd be head miner. Um, to head miner. There we go. If one of you moderators could uh, do that, that would be lovely. Um, and uh, I would also like you to uh, move your mining operations to a, a specific location. Uh, come with me. This is all very good. So effectively, um, I want the mining guild to tidy up the map a bit and also we need more resources for the big castle. So for that, um, I need to have him uh, actually do something for me. And in that case, it's uh, it's this massive hill over here I want entirely removed. Um, I just want it tidied up, I want it cut down, I want the stone from it basically melted into a castle. It is a bit of a walk from the town, but it's kind of like the biggest, densest portion of stone we have beyond quarrying out the entire underside of the world. Um, so it should be uh, around about what the heck is that great big red thing? What is that great big red thing? I am so confused. What the heck is this? <laughs> this wasn't what is getting built here. I can see stuff being added to it. Who is up there? Um, okay. Um, right. Well, we might as well go up there and see what on earth is going on here. But this is basically the mountain I want them to mine down. Um, uh, I want all of this mountain cut down um, and mined out. Uh, yes. What on earth are these people doing out here? What are you doing here? Um, what on earth are they making? Why is it just, they've just got a great big red thing. This makes no sense. Okay, fine. People move in mysterious ways. I won't judge. Um, <laughs> Carsten, you can't donate 10, 10 euros to kill amateur fighter not suspicious. <laughs> he's a very, he's an immortal character. I am the leader of the Warriors Guild. This is our monument for the great Yorkshire tea, my king. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, warrior. Um... I would like you to build uh, this tea monument and assist uh, the miners uh, in setting up an uh, FOB uh, here. All right, goodness. Oh, Lynx has sent me a message. Good afternoon, sir. I'm requesting a meeting to discuss the guilds as there seems to be much confusion. Oh, fantastic. Um, I can go find Lynx. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, Pepper Paul, message for Minty. Capture King Spiff and hold him for ransom. You want me to... Pepper Paul, you want me to pass that on to Minty. <sighs> right. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a another meeting with... Actually, no, I'll leave a sign for Totally Not Suspicious. Um, he, can, he can pass that on. <laughs> and Freedom Gaming, another $50. Yes, your, your second guild idea is no better than the first one. We're not having the Boston Tea Party Guild. That is 100% out of the question. Good God. <laughs> no Boston Tea Party Guild. Not allowed. Not allowed at all. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, some of the things that the players can... Well, some of the things that you in the chat can now do. You can kill players, but you can also send mes messages to players as well as steal things from players. Um... And apparently you want me to send a message to Minty. Actually, no, I can do that myself. Teleport uh, to Minty to Fresh. Wait. And then go, um, wait. Um, don't be alarmed. Um, I have a message. Uh, someone uh, paid <laughs> 10 quid uh, to say uh, capture Spiff and ransom him uh, that is all uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go message delivered to uh to to uh, minty there i hope you're happy ah 
Hello, Lynx. There we go. So this is the brand new warehouse which we're working with, um, which is a brilliant because it has a nice airlock system and items get deposited here to be sorted. Uh, very good, sir. Um, what's this? Goodness. Uh, someone sent me a message. I'll deal with that later. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Come with me, Lynx. Good. Okay. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to the tavern. We'll have to exit the warehouse for that. It's over here. Um, so yes. Oh, someone sent me a message, which is good. That's lovely. Um, did someone say redstone? There's no redstone. I didn't see any redstone. We'll ban that. We'll definitely ban that. Um, Person who edits the videos, are you held up by Swift? Harry's not held up by me. He's just, you know, occasionally robbed of access to family and friends so that he can edit on the videos faster. No, that's a lie. He's actually, um, he's spending some fun time with some family today, so he will actually be late to rocking up to the stream, um, which will be good. There we go. Oh, nice creepy music as well. Ah. Hello, Lynx. Uh, how can I help? Oh, he's branch manager now. I love it. He's getting his way up in the world. Really nice. Ah. So, yes, of course, as you remember probably from the last stream, uh, the IRS wrote up a 80-page tax document um, concerning how to tax everyone, which I absolutely love. Um, it's brilliant. Big F for Funky Cow. Has Funky Cow died? Um, I think I've... Oh, Funky Cow died. <laughs> he bought the horrible house. <laughs> Hello, sir. The guilds, uh, um, there seems to be some notion circulating among the rabble that I can assign guilds. Can I order? Oh, um, is there a proper channel to mark, uh, to mark the leaders of the guilds? Um, yes. Uh, speak to uh, Connor Brown on the uh, on the magical internet uh, forum Discord. He will give you uh, the list of leaders and uh, will promote them uh, in game so they stand out. There we go. Lovely stuff. Oh, this is perfect. Uh. Oh, hey, Atlas, thank you very much for your five quid. Um, you got kicked off the Discord for being too young. Thanks. Anyway, Spiff, it's the least I can do. Thanks, Atlas. Um, sorry for having to remove you. Um, it's just a personal moral thing I have. Um, it's very complicated. <laughs> uh, I shall go and survey the guild to make a list then. Uh, good stuff, Lynx. Um, if you need a hand, um, grab a guard. Uh, good stuff. Right, lovely. Um, also, um, I need to actually promote Outback here. Also, I need to promote you, Outback. Um, you are now uh, Innkeep Outback. Uh, your role should appear by magic in 10 to 30 working minutes. <laughs> Uh, oh, Rust Pope. Uh, good job guarding uh, Rust Pope. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, he's a lovely character, Rust Pope. He truly is. Oh, and this is the courthouse which the players built. I'm very proud of it. Um, it's very, very unique. It's uh, got. It's all ran by Townsman HG Wells here. Hello, uh, HG. Um. Any crime today? <laughs> oh, I'm excited to. I want to find the first person that, uh, that that they have to imprison for doing naughty stuff. I think Null over there is currently writing the entire legal document. Um, oh, oh, what is this? My lord, it has come to my attention that you are having to do a lot of criminal investigation in the kingdom. I propose that we set up a detective agency, of which I have built a building for agency 
uh, by the laws board. <gasps> it's the first person to send me a message. This is it. Okay, okay. Um, this is time for it's time for the first big event of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Someone to DM me an actual message request for something. Oh, hype yourselves up. Grab yourselves a fresh cup of tea because you know you might have guessed what's coming. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going straight over to the church because we've built a brand new exciting feature. Uh, all I need to do is get Scoob over here. Hopefully Scoob is by the church and consequently easy to come by. Um, where is he? Because I need him to organise an event for me. Um, where is where is Scoob? Where's your priest when you need him? Oh, we've got Townsend HG Boss. Oh, I love it. He's got such a beautiful little skin now. Oh, I love your um, outfit. Um, it's so so jazzy, right? I need to summon Scoob now. Um, slash burb Scooby Ted, come to the church. Uh, we have a uh, subject for our celebration. Uh, I should probably put celebration in air quotes. Um, and you know what? Let's uh, let's also bring over that lovely guy. Slash teleport. Uh, FBI Gummy to uh, the Spiffing Brit. Uh, there we go. Let's bring him here. Ah, hello there, um, uh, peasant friend. Um, <laughs> it has come to my attention that uh, you decided to DM the king. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't let my building go to waste. <laughs> Don't worry, your building will be used for good. <laughs> oh, this will be good, ladies and gentlemen. Don't preemptively put F for Big Gummy. Well, it's fine. I mean, you can probably guess what happens in this event chamber, but it's got brilliant reviews. 11 out of 10, really heartwarming show uh, from Chris P. Um, uh, Oh, he's just going into the box already. Uh, please stand inside and wait for the audience to arrive. Um, <laughs> I will actually get up on top of my kingly podium um, because I don't need... To, I'm here to watch. I'm not here to actually do anything. Um, it's all very exciting. All very, very exciting. My lovely, lovely, great big kingly seat here, and I can see FBI Gummy in the little box. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can actually also teleport Scoop to me. I teleport Scooby Ted, uh, uh, Piece of Brit. There we go, just force him here. Hey Scoob, um, I have someone in the box. Uh, you know what to do. Um, <laughs> uh, I will announce uh, the event. Right, let's do it. Slash uh, verb royal. <clears throat> Come to the church near the arena for a fantastic event. <laughs> Glorious entertainment is to be had. Ah, lovely stuff. Uh, now we just get to observe the justice process um, and the justice system. <laughs> uh, how much to have Connor send a plague throughout the peasantry, Justin? Uh, five dollars $5 probably isn't uh, enough to destroy the entire server, no. Uh, we do have plans for maybe that in the future, but <laughs> it's a crazy change that would take a lot of setup. Um, we have some unique features coming in, but they're a fair bit more subtle. Uh, what did he do wrong, by the way? Uh, he sent me a DM. That is literally it. He sent me a DM. Um. <laughs> FB Gummy, please accept your fate and replace the flint. Uh, all peasants, uh, be silent, or you will uh, have the same fate. Show respect uh, to... Uh, to the uh, prisoner. <laughs> uh. Ah, lovely. This will be very exciting. 
apparently Scoob needs Flint. Brilliant. Who'd, who'd just go fix that? <laughs> Solve that problem. <laughs> oh, of course. Good stuff. Why the heck is peasant Dr. Gravy fighting a silverfish over there? How'd he get a silverfish up here, even? Oh, my God. Who built the thing out of fucking silverfish? Are my mods stupid? They built the entire thing out of silverfish? <laughs> I cannot even. <laughs> I cannot even, my God. <laughs> the event is ruined. <laughs> 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 the, they built the entire seating area and chamber out of silverfish. Goddamn Crispy Buttons is dead. It was a massacre. The peasants can't fight back. <laughs> God damn it. Well done, Scoob. <laughs> Just, I can't. I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are such a pain to kill as well. They don't do much damage, but they're just there's just a lot of them. Um, oh my goodness. Right, big swing. Let them group up. Big swing. Let them group up. Big swing. Let them group up. Big swing. Oh my goodness. So basically, um, if you can't tell, this was an entirely lovely seating area. And then, for some reason, the stupid moderators <laughs> decided to build the seating area without checking if it was uh, made of silverfish or not. Uh, and it is entirely made of silverfish. All of it's made of silverfish. Even the upper seating stand where I was meant to be sat. <laughs> oh yes, it's just a plague of rats. You're right. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, right. Um... Resume uh, the event. Uh, pretend nothing happened. Um, all is fine. <laughs> all is fine. I'm just gonna have to build my my way back out to my kingly seat. Um, so uh, let me go do that. <laughs> Very royal and noble looking. Uh, please don't ignore the brand new dirt king stand, uh, which is where I will be. Oh my. Goodness. Oh, I've got a cup of Yorkshire tea gold here, though, which is very generous. Uh, right, uh, resume the event. Bla I blame Minty for that. It was probably Minty's doing anyway. <laughs> probably a flop by Minty. <laughs> of course it was Minty. He's the only person who could do such a thing. Right, let's all be quiet. We gather here today to witness the fate of those that message the king. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Stop eating. <laughs> oh, God. He's not a scapegoat. Okay, Minty's he's not a scapegoat. He's just the, the sinister hand behind everything that goes wrong in the world. Um, oh. He's like an Australian devil, um, or a Tasmanian devil. He's the Tasmanian devil. It makes sense. Ah. Minty has killed these people. He should be punished. Um, <laughs> the king has decreed that no peasant shall mes message him with unjust cause. Oh my goodness, here he goes. Oh my goodness. Long live King Spiff for his final words. <laughs> of F's <laughs> for king and country hail the king <laughs> oh, cleansed in the eternal fire what a loving peasant what a loving peasant well done FBI gaming took it like an absolute champ oh. 
Uh, rip crispy buttons F. Also, who if we could have if we could turn this into like a um, into like a memorial stand, that would be brilliant. Because you know how um, often set tennis courts um, uh, they have uh, they have say. Um, I don't know the uh, Princess Diana Memorial Stand. I, I feel like it makes sense for us to have the print, uh, well, the the memorial stand for all of the poor peasants that lost their lives fighting the Silverfish Plague. Um, oh, this is this is fantastic. Oh, how's the new pub doing as well? Because it's looking pretty good. I, I'm really liking the progress. Um, they're doing a great job. Very good job. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go have a chat. Oh, there's there's our steward Connor. Go over, go over, sit in the church and see how Father Scoob is coping after accidentally um, having all of the peasants sit on effectively uh, literal fire podiums. Oh, hello, Connor. Um, uh, do you have anything to announce? <laughs> My, um, my fantastic right hand man. Uh, Scoob apparently needs us to spread the horrible truth about the other church and what and that it was their doing. Of course, it was the other Pope's fault. <laughs> uh, oh right, I see Scoob oh Scoob's outside um converting people to be priests to go and slag off the other church. <laughs> Robert Stagg is still in the ship's hold. Oh God, did we? Do we still have someone in prison? And he's still waiting there. There's no way. There's no way he's still there. That can't be true, Connor. Oh. Uh, oh. What is? Uh, what is this? Um, no knock. Oh, the Constitution is ready. Oh, I'm excited. Oh yes. Book and Quilt. The Constitution of the Kingdom of the Spiffing Brick, created by Attorney General Nolnock, edited by H.G. Wells. Table of Contents. Bill of Rights, Articles, His Majesty, Noble Parliament, Judicial Courthouse, Taxation Office, Law Enforcement Office, The Church of Spiftopia, and Rules for All. <gasps> this is so incredibly important! Oh my goodness. Bill for Rights. One, you have the freedom to do, to do what His Majesty says. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound like freedom! <laughs> Two, you have the freedom to starve. <laughs> ah, now that is freedom. Uh, three, you have the freedom to contact the knights if something is needed. Refrain from speaking to his majesty if it isn't important. Um, four, you have the freedom to only speak good things about his majesty. <laughs> ah, you have the freedom to pay your taxes, uh, but you don't have the freedom to not pay your taxes. That's where we draw the line. Um, freedom from food. Exactly, Kissamon in chat. Exactly. <laughs> Six, you have the freedom to petition for his majesty to continue his immortal reign, which I will do so with or without your uh, willingness. Um, you have the freedom to throw your life away for his majesty. You have the freedom to quell any rebellions against his majesty. You have the freedom to forcefully... Uh, to be forcefully thrown into any job given by his majesty or his knights, and you must fulfill that job, subject to the whims of the almighty Spiff. Uh, Article 1, the Constitution. His majesty is the sole source of authority for all public action. Noble and judicial, henceforth, authority must be sought not in common law principles, such as parliamentary sovereignty, uh, sovereignty or uh, blah, 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 power. So basically, I'm the king. Uh, the kingdom nationality is de defended together with the rules governing the acquisition and loss of kingdom nationality. I've got no idea what half of this means. Why have we got a section on non-nationals? The only non-nationals on the server are Minty because we exiled him. <laughs> oh, the British Queen is a secondary god lord, and if she joins the kingdom of the Spiffing Brit, her power is only second to his majesty. Oh, so of course, yeah, if the Queen loads up her Minecraft account and joins the server, you're right, we'd have to do a dual monarchy system, uh, which is completely fair game. Um, heck, I'd probably cede monarchy rights to the Queen. She deserves it. She's the best Minecraft player, actually. He really, She really is. Um, <laughs> the establishment of organizations of the government are, um, are the God Lord. Oh, my goodness. So basically, I am, I am God. Yes, I have become God in the eyes of the law. 
Peasants shall act as peasants. Those who attempt to break out of the social norm in any way. Um, oh my goodness. And that is to not help the kingdom in any way shall face justice. So peasants have to remain peasants. We apparently have a noble parliament now. Um, there's a judicial court system as well. Um, there's a taxation office. Uh, the taxation office isn't allowed to punish those who do not pay their taxes as this information is related to the law enforcement. Yes, that is something. So Vale can, Vale can punish and detain to an extent, but he can't outright kill someone. He has to pass that person on. Um, what's this? If anyone finds any corruption, the taxation office... Them, uh, the taxation office themselves uh, punishing others or that the taxation office is taking more or less resources then uh, the action will be taken to the court. Oh my goodness, so already seeing a political divide between the judicial court system and the perfectly justified and fair tax collecting cult um, which has sprung up after last week's stream. Oh wow, it is, is this actually 61 pages? There's a section on the Church of Spiff. Um, there's peasant rules. Um... Oh my goodness, skeletons must be called bone boys, yes, and if they're not, people will be punished in jail for one day. Guild leaders, of course, now have to be uh, registered and they're responsible for their members. Um, guilds are responsible for their taxes, yes. Leading to a SWAT raid, since when did we set up a SWAT raid system? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, good job, no -knock. Um Give it to Connor to duplicate and we'll distribute it. Oh, but look at this lovely church we have. Of course, bow your head in silence. Um, as the holy, holy songs go on in the background. Let me crank up that tune. Hear the holy singing. Oh, yeah. This my jam. Good bit of good bit of style, I'm pretty sure it is. A nice bit of style. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's way too loud for me. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, it's Pascal. Oh, oops. Not style. Not even style. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Halo theme in the background. <laughs> Please don't call Jay Schlatt on me. Okay, he's a good friend. Oh. Goodness. Oh, Worcester wants something for me. Cool. Hey, Worcester. What's up? Ah, is someone in my way? Um, get out of the way. <laughs> this is my newfound power. I can punch people out of my way. Ah. Uh, what can I do for you, uh, Worcester? Do, 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 do. He could put Minty's head on a spike. Oh, what an incredible idea. I still haven't been given uh, Minty's head, though, which I'm quite disappointed by. There's a decent bounty put out on it. And Minty's only, like, I don't know, 500 blocks that direction. Um, so it's quite easy. Oh, my God. Wusty, what have you got to say that's so long? What are you typing out? Do not alert Jay Schlatt on Twitter. That is the last thing you're allowed to do. <laughs> a tree belonging to Hardlaff, uh, despite there being a sign to say not to uh, not to prize the spruce tree, is, was brutally cut down. My goodness. By who? Someone cut down one of Hardlaff's trees. That's on Hardlaff's estate. No one's allowed to touch that. Was it a peasant? Because if it's a peasant... That sounds like four days in the shame pit to me. That's some perfect shame pit duty. A crime, I know. Uh, I've been asked to arrest him uh, for the night to make uh, to make him see the error of the way of his ways. A perfect idea. Um, place him in the shame pit. Um, if he does not learn, um, we can see how the holy fire, uh, takes to him. Um, <laughs> God, not Stal again. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Michael donates $50. Ban a Magna Carta. No barons, nobles are able to form with other barons to rival the power of King's Fifth. Any attempts in all lands and items will be given over to the crown. And the baron or noble will be tied. Tried with the highest justice. What a brilliant idea. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, oh he's come for the tea Bible. Um, oh, it's in the chest near the arena. Um, there we go. Um, but you know what? That's actually a brilliant idea. We need to ban the Magna Carta. Because you're right. There's a risk that... Um, what if the nobles actually start getting crazy ideas? Like forming together to create unions of progress. <sighs> progress unions. That's the last thing we want. last thing we want is actual progression in society. So instead, this sounds like a brilliant way to have your donation converted into a, into an actual law. Um, so, do 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 do. Oak sign. Nobles are banned. Um, are banned from forming a uh, Magna Carta. There we go. That should tr that should that will put them in their place. Uh, what are the donations for? Literally anything. If you want to donate to have a player killed or send a message to a player, look in the description. There's a bunch of fun things for it. Oh my god, it's Tax Collector Novel Pond. He's out and about on his duty. Oh, and here's the beautiful graveyard as well. Um, <laughs> it's no Novel can't collect taxes from the dead. I don't know why he's in here. Um, oh, and Vampire Peewit, rest in peace. What a great guy. What a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> the tax people are so shifty. You never know what they're up to. They're just walking around collecting things. It's very strange. And then here's the um, here's the statue for Masu, a brilliant man, truly brilliant man. Um, there is actually a second statue I'd like commissioned, but I'd like to do so um, actually at the uh, the castle. Oh my God! Look at how cool the castle is looking. That's really progressed. That's incredible. But I'd like a little sign to be put up at the castle or a monument because um, there's a lovely guy called uh, Hafnium who basically created the bot which um, uh, allowed us to pull the uh, people into the server. Only for castle builders and officials. Lovely, I'm an official. That's me. Oh my god, it's peasant Riano Keeves. Jesus Christ, he looks... I'm actually surprised by how accurate he's made it. Very good. Right, now, if they technically come through here, I will punch them because they're not castle builders. <laughs> he really wants to come through that doorway, but he knows he's not allowed to. <laughs> this is for the officials only. Uh, um, right. Uh, who is in charge? I think Loki is. Hey, uh, Loki, I wish for a uh, statue to be built to... Honor um, uh, Hafnium, who created the Lotto Bot. He is the reason we are all here today. There we go. That's it. He must be must be rewarded for that. I was already told that by Connor. Oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> it is already known. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Can you send a bird boy out to stay uh, to say stay safe during lockdown to give your family a hug because everyone needs a hug in the time like this? I can't. I would send a royal bird to the server, but Nathan Tyler, thank you very much for your lovely five pounds, and I want to say that to all of you. Um, if you're watching the stream, stay safe out there. You're a lovely community. I know many of you, um, yeah, are, like you you show support in fantastic ways by donating and liking the. Um, uh, liking the say uh, uh, the live stream and all of that, and leaving comments on videos, and that's really nice. But some of the the things which make me the happiest are um, just watching you guys be nice to each other in the comment section. Just having you guys see someone who you've never actually met before, and just being really friendly and kind to them, it is a beautiful thing to see. Oh, and now we're in the wasteland. <laughs> it's now he doesn't want to follow me. <laughs> Yeah, you know what you know what happens when you cross this border. You know what happens across this border. My key, uh, my king, the tea Bible is not there. Um, you don't need my permission. <laughs> Go do it. 
I don't mind if you go collect the tea Bible or not. That's up to you. Uh, now to go see how the miners are doing. What is this? Praise Rihanna Keeves. This is the second Praise Rihanna Keeves monument I found out. Um, uh. Jacob Fowler, send out applications to found another settlement further inland, please. That is a plan. There's um there's a plan to have a small village constructed here in the wasteland, um, which will be the Farmer's Guild, I think. So basically a small village will crop up around the Farmer's Guild, uh, which is quite likely. Um, what on earth is... Oh my god, that looks insane. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. They're doing it. <laughs> it's bloody Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's incredible. It truly is. Sorry, fence post. Oh, wooden diamond pickaxe was not the tool for the job. I'll just get rid of that out of my inventory. <laughs> they have to go tidy up. I'm the king, okay? I could go, go through whatever pathway I like. But look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm so impressed. I'm so, so impressed. I'm excited to see... Um, how the actual miners are doing over here because they've set up their um their little goods route which is great um looks like they don't actually have a staircase up to the mountain which is an issue um that'll have to get sorted although basically i just want them to level the entire thing um <laughs> so kendall had on seriously thank you very much for your hundred dollars um donation but you can't assassinate Vale because Vale is of the nobility rank um so if you you can only assassinate, um, I think it's it's gentlemen and uh, serfs and peasants, uh, because Veilfisk is beyond assassination, I'm afraid. He is truly something incredible. Uh, but thank you very much, Kendall. If you're in chat and you have another target for your liking, uh, give us their names and it will be done. It will be done. Vale died, Vale is not dead, but Kendall just tried to put $100 on his head. Um, sadly, that's something I can't do. He's too important to be killed uh, via forceful means. Gabriel gives us $20 to say we should create a money system. Uh, we don't need to. It's already in the works. Someone's doing it, and it is very cool. I'm very excited. It's uh, kind of like the, the tax people are currently working on it, and it should be very good. Um, Lord Spiff, can we build ye old co-op for meal deals? You want to build a ye oldie co-op? Um... I mean, what a splendid idea. I love it. A British alicorn has died. That's another dead person. Oh, oh hello. Hello. Um, how goes the mining? Uh, be careful in these lands. Oh, what's wrong? The mining goes well. Okay. Well, if the mining goes well why is the land dangerous you've spotted some bandits lurking around here very interesting i wish uh, to scout these bandits we saw a campfire sir oh in what direction oh this is very interesting a bandit camp mm, you have me have me very interested let, let's go. Let me go and spectate it. Southeast, my lord, over into the birch, birch forest. Good. I will uh, scout. <laughs> right. Let's go see. Uh, do 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 do. Something over in the birch forest. A campfire. Let me see. A campfire. 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 So far, this is all looking. Oh. Hang on a second. This looks interesting. <laughs> This looks very interesting. What is this? What is this? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Is that... Is that what I... Is that what I... Is that... that that's redstone. That is redstone. These are bandits. This is it. We found Minty's camp. It's Minty's camp. Where is he? He's over here, isn't he? I know what he's like. Is this Minty? No, this is... There's a peasant out here. So this peasant is evidently probably a rookie trying to join the bandit camp. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. 
<laughs> Evidently, Connor's had a hand in this, but oh well, he, he kind of has to. Oh, look at this. They've done it. It's the Yorkshire tea sign. It's witchcraft. It is witchcraft. Very witchcrafty. It is an independence movement, movement so it is an affront to the kingdom. I will say that. Um, what is this? Uh, Warriors Guild Yorkshire Tea Monument site. Uh, speak to fire 100011 to assist. Oh, they've done a great job. You know what? He can be rewarded for this. GMS. Uh, you have done a great job here have this reward um meat <laughs> uh and also um you know what you can also have uh some apples and healthy apples enjoy there we go uh <laughs> Kendall understands, and please assassinate as many of the peasants building the tea, sh tea shrine as my hundred dollars permits. So you want me to kill the peasants building the tea shrine? Right. Well, I mean, I just, I just gave him a, just gave him a thing. <laughs> just gave him a thing. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, I will have to have another meeting with the Assassin's Guild. Um, oh, God. Kendall, what are you doing? You're making me kill people constructing tea monuments? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Well, now you can give him the sharp edge thing. I suppose I can. I suppose we can kill him because uh, we, gave him, we gave him meat. Oh, God. Oh my goodness. I really like what they're doing with the farm. It's uh, really turning out into something beautiful. What is going on in here? Oh, we've got a head of farming Kermraid in here, as well as Warden and a footman. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, lovely people. Oh, it's Raven Hobo! Hobo! You're alive! You've. Oh, this is incredible. Thank you for resurrecting me. You uh, deserved it, my friend. Oh my goodness. Um, Hobo, go join uh, the mining team on the mountain. Um, and also, what did I just receive? Did I just receive tax code V1? Why did I receive tax? I already have a copy of it. Was this what I received? Mute, what did you give me? Hey, Mute. So for those of you that don't know, um, Mute is an interesting character because Mute has a balked um, game where for some reason he can't actually speak on our server and we don't know why. So we had to give him a special role of the Mute. Um, and he, has to, he can't use the text chat to communicate with people. So it's very limiting for him. <laughs> Oh god, there's a lot of... Oh my god, they make too much noise. <laughs> too much noise. They are too loud. Silence these chickens. Um, oh, diamonds. Oh, you gave me diamonds. Oh. Thank you, um, Teal Timo. Right. Um... <laughs> Uh, they get exponentially quieter the further away we stand. Come. Execute order 66. <laughs> if you uh, stand in the way of this, I will be disappointed. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, we will feast. Chicken tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I like how Lol and Kerm are just hitting each other as well because they can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. oh, this is fantastic. You know, the sheep are feeling pretty loud as well, but you know, they're not as, not as loud. 
with this. Execute order KFC. Oh my goodness. Thank you for uh, doing order KFC. <laughs> done. <laughs> well done, lol. Um, deposit the chicken in the warehouse for me. Um, there you go. Blah, you can take all of the raw chicken. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> the tax amount or at all. <laughs> yeah, we just took all of it. <laughs> Oh, I love taxation. It's truly brilliant. Truly fantastic. All livestock should be kept in soundproof boxes. <gasps> what a great idea. <laughs> uh, Gabriel donates to say, Spiff, you should have colonies so you can establish the British colonial empire. What a brilliant idea. It will take a fair bit of a setup, though. Oh, Grindkind just died. Rest in peace, Grindkind 7. Another one for the graveyard. Oh, I'm liking some of these new houses they're building. Oh, this is much nice. Oh, Grindkind. Ah. Uh, Grindkind barrister and solicitor. Well, um, <laughs> something tells me. Uh, oh, there we go. Bit of a rollback there with the server for some reason. But something tells me, poor Grindkind. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, house for... <laughs> Sale. Last owner tragically died. <laughs> F, I guess. <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, a hopper is considered redstone um, when used by peasants, yes, but for official business, no. Uh, it's like nobles and so on, I'm fine with using them, and the guilds can probably get away with them, but if a peasant's using it in their house, that's just weird. Um, Oh my goodness. Royal Orchard tree designated for the castle. Do not chop down. If you ignore this, you'll be punished. Do not enter. Do not steal. Do not occupy in the name of... Oh wow, this is brilliant. I love it. Also, I wonder if Wooster finally finished his penthouse. Grindkind was doing a lot of the law stuff, apparently. I just received um, the information. So uh, that's a big, big loss for all of the law. <laughs> oh, poor Grindkind. Why did he die? <laughs> What did he do? What is that name tag down there? Oh, is is it another level low? I thought it was actually underground. That would have been a bit suspicious. What is this? Why is there? Okay, it's just a trap door there. That's fine. Um, I'll ignore that. Do 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 do. Have they rebuilt the uh, the stand yet? No, no, they actually they haven't. <laughs> they still haven't. <laughs> the stand is still a mess. Oh goodness! What is the setup they have in here? Was it just like um, deposit fire onto here? Oh, hi novel. Um, how can I help? Let's see what he wants. Novel is uh, quite high up in the tax collection group. Oh, it's horrible. Oh no. Have the Assassin's Guild claimed a single bounty? Their results don't inspire much confidence in their capabilities. Yes, I will uh, I'll have to intervene with them. Uh, the guilds aren't producing anything. Oh no. Now why is that? No lumberjacking or mining in sight. Uh, the miners are over on the mountain. Have you tried contacting uh, the head miner. Oh my god, Scoob has just become mega priest, hasn't he? <laughs> you can just see him in the background doing church. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the bot is also always active, so don't worry about that. Visit the guy in jail. Is there a guy in jail? Is he, um, oh, he might be actually under the court system. Or he could be, oh my god, okay, novel just died. Uh, or teleported out. <laughs> it's fine, we'll have to get back to him later. Let's go see if the person still stuck in the boat is still stuck in the boat. Because apparently, Connor mentioned that there's still someone in the hold. Nope, there's just two people still 
oh, the, oh, these are people joining the server. Okay. Oh, so the person who was in the jail has left. What a shame. <laughs> they were doing such a good job sat in there. How do you get food? Well, you need to farm food, but we made it so that food is a lot harder to farm. It takes longer to grow and so on. Um, oh, look at this lovely farm going on over here. This is beautiful. Very good. Um, very, very nice. Very tasty. Oh, and the castle is just looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at what these people have made. Truly fantastic to watch. Make it law. Um, you cannot be called mere king or lord, but you ha must be referred to as divine god king. Uh, the peasants are not allowed to look you in the eyes and must bow and stand aside when you are near. Ian, quite possibly the greatest law recommendation we've had yet. Um, slash burb royal uh, new royal decree uh, I must be referred to um, oh my goodness I must be known uh, known as God uh, King Spiff uh, any other title will see uh, peasants killed um, peasants cannot look me in the eye and must stand aside and bow in my presence <laughs> oh my goodness i love it i absolutely love it <laughs> thank you very much Ian lily a british well i got murdered in cold blood whilst writing up uh, the history of the server ps pound sterling best currency and spiffy's best king oh you got murdered oh no well, maybe uh, I think someone might have tipped you off to the Assassin's Guild. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's quite the hit list. Oh, that is quite the hit list. My goodness. Apt to you, my friend. Oh, my goodness. Um, right. Uh, Connor, come to the tavern. A new set of targets has been, uh, has been <laughs> collected. <laughs> This is a long one, my goodness. Oh my goodness, poor lol. Poor lol, he only just got resurrected as well. But this is it. Uh, Outback, I am expecting company. Um, oh, sure, what should I know? Oh, who is this? spy apparently we now have a spy as well to deal with that's very exciting um <laughs> oh report this to Worcester and have the person imprisoned without trial in the shame pit <laughs> Oh my god, Sugar Psycho has died as well. Okay. Um, hello there. Um, not suspicious. Um, I have a new target. Uh, the LOL 11 uh, Nano underscore Ranger and Ducky um, must die. <laughs> I'll be back in a second, guys, actually. I've just got to quickly do something. I'll wait for Connor to write up his response. <laughs> Oh, what just happened? Who just died? Oh, Mexican Wolverine, rest in peace. Um, duck must die, or ducky why? Oh, uh, ducky duck underscore why must die. 
um, uh, make it swift and I want results fast. <laughs> this is a top priority. I will be watching. There we go. I'm very interested to see how the uh, how the Assassin's Guild do. Um, Outback, you are a most trusted peasant. I cannot wait to see you get uh, promoted. You deserve it. Ah, oh, what a lovely guy! So so brilliant, so powerful. <laughs> oh. I'd like a hit on Hobo, I desire chaos. Oh, okay, actually, you know, I'll, I'll also do that. Um, also, uh, add Hobo to the list, um, the special list <laughs> for Hobo. <laughs> he was um, he was just added, uh, he was just brought back to the server, but it seems he will die. <laughs> oh, uh, Max Paul donates $20 to pay off Lowell's bounty, okay. Right, fine. Um, <laughs> I'll pay off Lowell's bounty slash GMS. Um, also, Lowell's bounty is now partly paid off. Simply uh, frame him for a crime and steal his items. All right, there we go. Do, 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 do. Let's uh, see what Ood is up to. I don't want to re reveal my location, but I'm interested. Oh, he's out in the forest. What is he doing? Oh, he's fighting. <laughs> Who's he got with him? He's got... Um, he's joined by Crusader and Wingy. Okay. What are the guards doing out here? <gasps> it's got to be the bandit camp. Because Minty's leading the bandit camp. And I mean, there is a reward for Minty's head at the moment. And that is exactly the kind of thing that Ood would lead knights into doing. Um, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Uh, <laughs> he just doesn't know the way. We're going to follow him nonetheless. Um, hopefully he'll work out the way eventually. Uh, I mean, it is roughly this direction, I reckon. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's literally a straight line from here. It's just that way. Okay. Yeah, they'll find it very soon. Oh, but I'm, I really want to see this encounter go off. Assassinate Outback, please. You can't kill the pub keep. He's lovely. He's also not a peasant, on my in my opinion. I'm, I'm upgrading him to townsman. He's going to be safe. I want to protect Outback. <laughs> Peasants must be in a constant state of hunger. A peasant with a full stomach is a dangerous peasant. <laughs> Are you saying we want peasants to never have a full hunger bar? <laughs> I don't know if we... I don't think we can actually enforce that law, Michael. It's a brilliant law, but I don't know how viable it is. Oh, And yes, please promote um, Outback to being a, a, a townsman and a landlord, because uh, that's uh, his deserving role. Oh my goodness, Ood's made it in, but he's accidentally kind of lost all the people who were with him. Um, and he's also getting chased by the crazy hard mode mobs that we have. Um, they chose a strange time to invade, night time. What the hell is going on here? What the hell have they done? Oh my god, Minty, what is this? What is going on? I don't even think Connor need, who needs to do anything. He just says, uh. I mean, how do you even react? How do you react to this? Oh no, Wiggy could die here. I don't think there's much point. Um, first, uh, burn down their house. Let the mobs uh, deal with it. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is. Uh, <laughs> he's got the flint and tinder as well. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, oh, yes, light them on fire. Make them nice and crispy. Good job, Ood. <laughs> Oh my goodness. God. <laughs> Peasant Loco, please help. 
You're beyond help in this little tent, okay? There's redstone at your feet. You're quite clearly, okay, evil. Very evil. Very, very evil. Um, oh my god. <laughs> uh, actually, not I can do. Um, slash gym. S. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yes, here they go. <laughs> oh, Pe Pecho's dead. Uh, uh, I could just uh, have one of the assassin skill burn down a high ranking player's house and frame it on the peasant uprising. Oh, very good. Um, Ian, I would like to cancel the bounty on Hobo and to give him some sort of title to protect him from any future assassination attempt from the guild. Very well, Ian Hob Habener. It will be done. Um, it will be done. Let me find Hobo. Um, slash teleport. Hobo. Where is he? Oh, it's Wingy just died. Oh, beans, we lost Wingy again. Again. <sighs> I'm not resurrecting him another time. What is up with the zombie spawn right round here? This is insane. Oh, I, I know why. It's because zombies can spawn round here. Because we have the uh, town so lit up, so it just dumps all of the spawnable mobs in this location. But this is actually in... Just... It's... I don't even know. I don't even know. It would appear Minty... Oh, no, Minty's trying to escape. But he can't even. He can't even escape because his base is just flooded with zombies. It's foul witchcraft. I feel really sorry for Crusader. I think I think both of these guys need to run back because this is a mess. They can't fight that. They really can't. Uh, they have Apparently, they have about 70 mobs on them, um, according to the admins. And it's not even our doing. It's uh, it's the server's divine way. Praise the holy tea lord that is me. Um, right. I also need to... Uh, apparently... Okay, so the people who currently have bounties um, are the lol. Uh, apparently Nano Ranger just paid off his own bounty. He paid 50, 50 Australian dollars to pay off his own bounty, so he's fine. Um, Hobo is also cleared, um, and apparently so is, uh, and Outback is also cleared. So the only two people I'm pretty sure are still on the list are, um, Ducky and The Lol. Um, both must die. Um, I'm interested where Teleport Ducky is. Where is Ducky? Oh, he's involved in the building of the castle. Oh. I mean, this makes it actually surprisingly easy because I I think they can actually PvP in the castle. Oh, Trigetti has died as well. Rest in peace. Stop with the killing. The people will die slowly. They will either die by the hand of an assassin or they, they will die by the hand of a mob. Um, it's, uh, it's entirely the will of the people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only blacksmiths should be allowed to craft chainmail... Um, and help to start an economy. So, um, basically, uh, weapons aren't allowed in the hands of peasants. Peasants aren't allowed swords, only guards are, and nobles. So, peasants basically can only defend themselves with axes. They're also not allowed iron armor. I'm fine with peasants wearing a bunch of leather armor. Oh my god, I've realized that due to how we have the mob spawn, it is literal hell for these poor miners out here. <laughs> Oh, these poor guys. It's real poor guys. They just get all the mobs dumped on them. <laughs> now let's see how things are going over at the bandit camp. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh... Crusader is trying to live. Oh my goodness, Crusader. This is a dangerous place to be. I wouldn't be here. Um, and who's in here? Oh my goodness. Apparently Minty's in this room with a bunch of glit... Minty's dead. Wait, is Minty dead? No, he's punching a bunch of zombies. Minty's dead! Ood! Ood killed Minty! I just... Oh no, was that Minty? Or oh, that was one of Minty's friends. Ood? 
How many minty heads can I get? Oh, he keeps killing minty. Ke minty keeps respawning in his bed. <laughs> uh, one will do. Please bring. Please bring them back. <laughs> oh my god. Uda's killed Minty so many times. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so um, Minty effectively created his own down spiral by not properly having torches around his base, meaning that uh, it has become hell. Um, it is horrible <laughs> from the looks of things. <laughs> oh, now is this the... Is this? Oh, this is Hard Left's Estate. Oh, wow. I really like Hard Life's Estate. Hard Life's Estate is all about the promotion of peasants to give them better working conditions. Um, this is the guard tower, which um, is being sorted by Russ Pope and uh, Wusty and a few others. Um, over here is the tavern, which is now getting built. Oh, wow. A peasant has actually rebuilt the stand, which is lovely. We have a guard apparently permanently protecting the church as well. I need you to mark those who die. Oh, I see. So Scoob's handing over the uh, duty of uh, the person who keeps track of the graveyard because, oh my god, this filled up faster than I expected. There's only two names in here last time. What's this? Here lies Trigetti. He was alright, but nah. <laughs> oh, this poor soul. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, the, the Assassin's Guild first ever bounty on Nataru has it been claimed. Let's see. Teleport Nataru. Where is he? Um, it would appear Nataru, in his divine wisdom and attempts to escape the bounty, has fled the kingdom to the middle of nowhere. Um, right. Okay. This is, uh, this is interesting. He has an entire base in here and everything. Hail the fox. That's not T. That's not me. I'm the god in this universe. He's got a smoker. He's probably smoking redstone in here. Okay. Hmm. Well, he's out in the wilderness, so he's fair game for anyone. Um, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a bounty for the Assassin's Guild to take, but theoretically, it can go to anyone. So, um... I think, slash, verb, uh, royal, what are even his chords, um, oh my goodness, they're pretty far out, he is way, way far out, where the heck, he's miles away, slash, teleport, uh, let's go for links, I think he's, he's, yeah, he's over 2,000 blocks away, he's on the world border, oh my goodness, Right, to make it easier, um, <laughs> you are not running that far, my friend. Let me uh, put you in a complicated yet easy spot to deal with. Like, say, do, 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 the shame box. Oh, slash teleport. Oh, he's in the floor. Oops, that's my bad. There we go. Up one square. There we go. Lovely. Much better. Much, much better. In the little shame box he goes. <laughs> ah, lovely. Well, hello, Nataru. Pleasure to see you too. Oh, did someone just give him a weapon? Wow, chicken overlord. Feeling, feeling generous, apparently. It seems unfair. Okay, very good point. You're right. We'll release him back into the wild. Do 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 do. Away he goes. He's got all his stuff. You know what? I'll even give him, even give him a little gift. Do 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 do. He survived quite a while, so you know what? He probably deserves one of these to blend in, as well as he could do with probably that as well. He's going to need it to run past, and probably a torch. He looks like he could use it. Uh, the thing is. I don't necessarily want these people dead. It's just what's been asked of me, okay? <laughs> uh, he will probably live, actually. Considering he's chosen to run, um, he will probably survive 
quite happily until he accidentally dies in a mineshaft accident in 50 minutes time um what the heck is this <laughs> uh <laughs> um Draken, what is this down here, my friend? Why is this underneath the statue of Masu? Uh, why is Scooby in here? Um, so, <laughs> what is, uh, what is this? <laughs> what is this chamber? <laughs> Where is it going? What is this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or is it question mark <laughs> oh I see so this is the assassin's guild right okay this makes perfect sense <laughs> why are all of the assassins on the guard team <laughs> oh the head of Minty the bandit oh there we go so the, the bounty on Minty is being claimed well done. Uh, I will mount this to the wall. There we go. Ah. Oh, first head. Um, uh, the other bounties you should know about. I would like you to act on them. Um, Nataru shall be free for the time being. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because the guards can kill in broad daylight, nobody will think they are assassins. I mean, I, I just told Ood that he can literally recruit anyone who he thinks is up for the job, but it seems that the majority of the people he recruited have also been recruited into the guards, which is pretty interesting because the guards are managed by an entirely different... Uh, night, so they're managed by uh, Wusty and Darman. My goodness. And of course the Pope is in on it. Yeah, the Pope's really in on doing the assassinations, apparently. Bishop Scoob loves royal assassinations. So, have you killed anyone beyond Binti? We're working on it. I see. <laughs> what are the bounties, my lord? Oh. Um, uh, the lol needs to die. Um, we also have one on ducky underscore y. Uh, and the, what is it? Slash teleport. I'm so bad at names. N A T T and N A T T U R I. Oh, apparently, no knocks in here. I didn't see anything. No knock, yes. Famous head of like 90% of the legal side of things. Uh, this is uh, all justice. Trust me. Everything is fine. It's all fine. For a short period, things were not fine, but now everything is fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Add Pascal the third to the list, uh, the special list, uh, those who make graves stay in graves. What a brilliant idea. Okay. Um, Pascal. Pascal the third is also on the list and Chase <laughs> Smith <laughs> uh, just gave uh, 50 for the head of uh, <laughs> no knock <laughs> feels weird <laughs> Uh, no, you can you can stay in here, no knock. <laughs> um, uh, go get no knock. 
Oh my god. <laughs> you can't hide from the law, no knock, I'm afraid. You just can't. A floating head of justice sees all. I'm interested to see where he's... The fact is, he's, he's instantly made the mistake of running because in the wilderness, it means anyone can kill him. Because actually in the town, uh, warden, the warden rank doesn't actually have the ability to kill people. Um... <laughs> yeah, because no knocks in the town, Crusader can't murder him. <laughs> oh my goodness. So no knock is safe. And the assassin's guild has to come up with a much smarter and more creative way of killing him. Um, he made the smart thing to uh, not just run away. Oh, and here's Vale. Come to probably assess the um, head of IRS Vale Fisk. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Ah, oh, here we go. Hello. It is I, your god... Hotlap's <laughs> asking for a law so that we ban the cutting of his spruce trees. Long live. Yes, of course. Uh, I wish your noble, uh, noble, oh my goodness, noble line to also be strong and true. The Treasury and the IRS have a request for a royal, royal burp. What is the request? Oh, an announcement from the Treasury. <laughs> Uh, I wish to warn poor Lol of the hit on them. I wish to make the job harder for the assassins. What a great idea. Lol was paid off. He w has to be framed and get his items taken. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot he was paid off. As of now, there is a large shortage of materials needed for books, both uh, us and the treasury. A good idea. Um... I'd like to put a bounty out on ink sacks, leather, feathers, and paper. Okay. Oh, Dark Descent has died. Okay, slash burb royal. We require supplies. The tax on, uh, what is it? It's ink, um, feathers, and feathers, uh, leather, and paper has just risen to uh, 100%. All must be handed in ASAP to the IRS. There we go, lovely stuff. Ah, oh, good pro, oh, it's, it's lol. Um, the assassins are going against their agreement. Oh, how so lol? They are continuing their donuts. What? <laughs> what do you mean, Low? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, they're continuing their donuts. I see, so he was censored. Uh, yeah, I tried to say the word azured earlier. It got censored too long. What is that word? <laughs> what is... What, <laughs> I don't know what it's getting... <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, assault. I see. I see. I see. It's the ass. <laughs> <laughs> we have the word ass censored. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, just to protect. The, uh, it's a Christian Minecraft server, okay? Christian Minecraft server. Ass is banned. Ass was banned. Um, to stop the ass. Can you organize the assassins to stop ass? To stop as me. Okay. Okay. Uh, your bounty was paid, but there is still a hit uh, to have you robbed. There we go. That's all that he needs to know. Oh my god, we just got another three more targets, right? Time to visit the Assassin's Guild. <laughs> Thank you very much, Marco Lo Losos. Uh. 
Oh, someone just asked me about because they found a bone horse. Wait. Oh my god, No Nonok just died. <laughs> the hit on No Nonok was a success. My lord, uh, could you have read? Could you read the book again? What's this? God King, I found a bone horse. Oh. Oh. You are asking something of me. Well, you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's time for the cleansing fire. Ah, uh, another royal, uh, royal holy event this week brought to you by the one person who found a horse and really wanted to show it to me. Do 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 do. Preemptive F's in the chat. Yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> The thing is, I reckon Nolnok probably wasn't actually killed by the assassins. I reckon Nolnok probably died of his own accord because he was still within the uh, the boundary. So I'm not sure how he even died. Um, all right, where is Scoob? Where is he? He's around the back here somewhere. I reckon. Um, no, it's just a bunch of guards walking around here. Oh, and there's uh, Lynx walking around with a guard collecting tax. You'd love to see it. You really do. <laughs> is this your farm, sir? Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And Holloway just sent me a message. Oh, my goodness. Teleport. We've got so many willing sus people to uh, for, the, for the flame chamber. Could we have a double flame? Is that what we can do? Slash teleport? Hollowy to the spiffing Brit. I mean, it sounds like a, a it sounds like a message that would go to the legal system rather than uh, anyone else. Um, and then we've also got slash teleport. Um, oh, where's the name? Ah, oh, there we go. The spiffing Brit. There we go. And I know it's not you, Hollowy, but. Um, Holloway, are you escaping the justice system? Holloway. That's not good at all. Right, Holloway, that sounds like time in the shame pit for you. I know you weren't the one who committed, committed the crime of actually vandalism, but you were the person who committed the crime of sending a message to me instead of the court system. Oh, God, I forget. The, all of the executions have the bloody music of Stal. That's not justice. This is justice. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, apparently Bugdery has left the server. Right, he really wanted to escape justice that much. Oh my goodness. Well, when he's back, he's dead. I won't even wait for the flames to spread. He can just be incinerated very quickly. That's a shame. I was really excited to have a nice, uh, nice flame on today. Ban him? Oh, actually, yeah. Um, if we can get him banned for trying to escape uh, a kill, that would be great. Um, yeah, we don't allow combat logging. It just, it's just not fun. It doesn't add to RP. Cough, Great Fire of London. Cough, Chase, I'm not burning down the server. <laughs> as fun as a Great Fire of London would be, we have fire spread turned off. Um, it's too dangerous. Um, a Raven Hobo. God King, I will have to retire as my hay fever is trying to kill me. I wish to be a farmer instead of a miner. It's my true calling. I hope you understand. Thank you, Raven Hobo. I hope you return when your hay fever is better. Um, if you are... Uh, when you're back, um, I hope you'll, you'll feel good and you're welcome for a nice promotion on the server. Um, anyway. Hello, Ood. Um, I have three more targets. Uh, search uh, doggies Mino um, Omega and Flaming uh, Melon if you fail on the first attempt you fail and they are free of their bounty so this is the way it works. If uh, the Assassin's Guild tries to assassinate you, you might not even notice them trying to assassinate you because sometimes they are that bad. But if you do notice them, um, yeah, then uh, then all is good. Uh, well, if you notice them, then you can call them out on it and you can try and survive. Um, and if you do survive, all is good. You are perfect and safe in this world. 
WPSM did not show his due defense to the God King. Send him, send a hit on him, please. Oh, that's a good point. WPSM. Slash. Yeah. Oh. Let's see how he does. I'll give him. Hello. <gasps> um. You do know who you're talking to. God King Spiff. <laughs> then why did you just say hello? And look me in the eye. Chat, thank you for pointing it out. <laughs> Send him to the kelp farms. Hmm. Very suspicious. I am not looking you in the eye, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. In return for punishment, I ask you bring uh, the castle builders uh, 64 cobble ASAP. Do not make this mistake again. There we go. There we go. That's how you train the peasants. Oh, they're so much more well behaved when you uh, you give them horrific totalitarian rules. <laughs> execute order 66 and 69. I thought you can't execute those orders in parallel. Oh, you know what, chat? You're good. You're good. Oh, you're right. I will stop teleporting to the criminals. I will have people bring them to me. It makes sense. People should be able to run from the law. They should be able to run from what I'm doing. Well, to an extent. Um, of course, you've never completely outrun me because I'm an otherworldly being, but still. Do, 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 do. I actually am interested by what's happening in the church, and I think I will loiter there for a while. Um... <laughs> do, 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 do. Spiff, assign yourself as a ch assign yourself a chaplain to keep rabble at a respectable distance and be immediately uh, and be the intermediary for petitions. I feel, I mean, that's a good idea. But the intermediary for me is the um, is the uh, the like. The knights and the popes and so on. Uh, oh my goodness! Fantastic, Mister Eagle. Thanks for the ninety-nine dollars. Keep up the good work, God King Spiff. Thank you very much. Uh, very generous sausage there. And also, uh, Braden White. Thank you for the crazy donation of one hundred fifty-nine Australian dollars. Like it's actually crazy. You know what? You know what? I've got a, I've got a thing for this actually. Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you very much for the donation. Very generous. Seriously. Um, it helps us keep the server going um, in a, a very meaningful sense. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> that took an entire like 40 minutes to set up, just so you know. Um, I am very bad with, um, with uh, names and so on. Uh, well, no, we, just anything related to live streaming. Um, uh, congratulations. Oh my goodness, is Scooby on fire? Can Scooby not be on fire? Why? Is Scoob okay? Scoob, are you okay? Oh, it's Minty. Oh, oh, Minty's trying to kill people. Right, of course he is. Goodness, classic minty on a lava bucket. Nice try. Oh, beans, 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 beans. That is actually a nice try. Ow, 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 ow. It spreads like a bastard. Oh, you cheeky fuck. Oh, now I'm just sizzling away, right? Track down minty. I want him jailed. We have him in our sight, so cuff him and put him in a jail. I want him in the shame cube. The cube of shame. Oh, right, there we go. We've got Drakenfire on the chase. 
I will too. I too will join the chase. The fact that he tried to kill our one religious leader. I can't believe it. Oh, what a terrible man. Luckily, we can uh, chase him down relatively quickly. Do 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 do. He can't outrun us. We have more food than he does. Um, I do need more food in my system, though, as I will die. Two spiders, which is not something that I want. Oh, he just keeps running. Well, that's fine. We can get him. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice try. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. He did it. Silas did it. Oh, my God. Silas just decapitated Minty with a, a wooden axe. What the heck? <laughs> that was the most brutal takedown I've seen. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. There will be one thing I'll do. Um, Buds, Bud Goodry, um, can you please uh, email YouTube, by the way, after the stream to uh, ask to refund your super chats? And I'll help you with it because it, um, I mean, this is the nicest way for uh, jittery, but you seem like quite a young person. And I'm sorry that someone put an assassination hit out on you. And so I'll get it overturned. Um, but please refund the donations that you've done to the stream because I don't like the idea that we've accidentally um, uh, bullied. Well, no, actually, not even on the list. You're fine, bud. You're fine. Trust me. You're all good. Um, don't worry. But please refund the donations nonetheless. Uh, I will scrap the thing in the description for the time being <laughs> i'm not having people kill poor little kids on the server via donations and then have kids worry about not paying off the donations that is quite possibly the worst thing i've ever seen and now my moral compass is destroyed and i absolutely detest myself for a short period of time brilliant ah oh, god <laughs> what the hell have i done oh Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. That's another thing for me to sort out after the stream. Along with all the other stuff I have to do. I must say, I really like the um, some of the fun stuff that people have set up. In terms of the beautiful housing, the lovely estates. Um, you see, when we actually had this organised, we originally didn't plan for the, um, the knights, who are my mods, to actually have an actual forward stance in the story um, in terms of they were just meant to join groups and be part of them but uh, it t it's complicated for groups to form organically in an RP sense so um, it made sense for say um, our knights to uh, become lords to an extent and manage to reign uh, like say these farms here um, uh, which are fantastic and beautiful operations, which employ people and they can promote people through society. Because if we were only working off of myself, then yeah, it would be an incredibly slow process. Instead, we have Alfenheim Farm, which is run by Alf, um, uh, organized by farm leader Dollar Dave, uh, all protected by Sir Alf, our lovely man. Uh, we've got co leader Troddenvalp, a bunch of cool farmers. Farmers have Blue lever on. Oh, nice. It's nice that they've done that. Oh, look at them bow in my presence. Hello, uh, my kind peasants. You are, are looking fantastic today. Promote the one who killed Minty with a wooden axe. He should make guard or assassin. He will. He will. He is a, a very good, good kind of person. Very good. I like what he does. Well, lots of gifts from people, including, I'm pretty sure, this is a dyed leather cap. Fantastic, someone else can take that. Um, <laughs> God, these cows are loud. Um, these cows are loud. Um, please silence them, uh, Dollar Dave. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Look 
looks like beef's back on the menu, boys. Lots of tasty beef tonight. Ah. Uh, also gives me something to fight my uh, my sword at. Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh my god. I think they've done a good job. We now only have baby cows, uh, which arguably much quieter, much quieter. Very good. Very, very good. It's not it's not a genocide, it's a, a minor cull of a particular cow. Um it's just so that the uh, the volume so if you've ever heard of noise pollution it's an actual real thing okay so uh yeah makes sense read the donations i will i just don't read donate i like to read donations in chunks slow chunks because they're a great big list and very daunting and i feel like i make people upset if i um read all of them in one go i'm a very self-conscious streamer you know ah my goodness I mean, there's some fantastic ones here. Uh, so let's start from the top. Um, promote Silas to the King's Guard in reward for the epic takedown. I mean, yes, that makes perfect sense. Um, uh, I will leave a sign for Worcester and ask Silas to be added to the uh, to the guards because he is he's definitely got everything we want from a guard. He shows fantastic determination and stabbing potential when it comes to fighting Minty. That was beautiful. Um, so let me put up a little sign. Um, promote Silas to guard for killing uh, Minty. He was incredible. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, do, 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 do. What is this? Michael Delport, my lord um, god king. Uh, <laughs> As per your first law, no peasant is to allow more than 32 of any item in their inventory. As such, WPSM should die if he proceeds your given task or not. Well, that's part of the fun of the law. You see, if you have a law which is bring 64 cobblestone to this location as soon as possible, and then they rock up and give 64 cobblestone, one of the other people there can report him for moving 64 cobblestone in stacks that aren't 32. But that's for them to notice, not not me. I've just, I've just set up the scenario, because he might play it smart and bring it in stacks of 32, if he's very smart. Um... Yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're aiming for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. I I'm very impressed by the little setup they have of the warehouse. I've got some lovely guards here. We've got hard laugh here, we've got novel here. Oh. And apparently they're coming to terms with, I think, was a complicated tax based off of Hardlaff's spruce trees. Because Hardlaff is the only um, the only person with spruce. But if he would touch my spruce, what else would he attempt to gain with... Oh my god, what is going on? Um, what is going on here with the spruce? I keep seeing it mentioned... I want to know about the spruce. There's a bunch of sprucey related uh, incidents regarding apparently fevery of a, a spruce tree, which I don't really understand how, um, considering it's a, it's a tree. Did he lower the mob volume? I don't know. Oh, actually, that's a good point. I have mob volume turn up in, turned up in the voice chat. Don't, oh, in the sounds chat, don't I? Yeah, it's friendly creatures. Turn that down. Um, oh, break it, Brock broke my spruce tree. He made reparations, but I wanted him audited. But he's dead. Um, yes, he died a few uh, minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he can uh, pay you back anymore or serve a sentence. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he got what he deserved. <laughs> uh, some would say karma. Oh, my goodness. Isn't it brilliant when the criminal justice system doesn't even need to do anything because the person just dies of natural causes? 
natural causes probably being they fell from a height too high and so just crushed their legs um, very easily, uh, which is something that happens. Oh my goodness. I'm actually, I've, I think we should revisit the Yorkshire Tea Shrine. Um, are they bringing more cows? I already have issues with cows that it is. Um, <laughs> they're noisy buggers. They just, they just hit go moo. And that's all they add. They don't add anything else to society other than noise. And the only person they give food to is me. So their existence is limited and to an extent unnecessary for the vast majority of the peasant peoples. Hop, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it does look good. I don't seem to have made much progress on it since the last time I ran into them. Um, why is Lol chasing me? Lol, what do you... Where do I find the list of hits? Why do you want the list? Our man's been killed by a fellow guard. What man? Okay, I didn't realize that a guard... Um, oh. Oh, someone that Lol knows, maybe. Um, a friend? Who were they? I'm interested, because uh, the Assassin's Guild so far has managed to kill two people, which are Minty and Nolnock. Um, and it's it's considering the amount of people who have bounties and the amount of people who have died, very slow conversion rate between the two. I will say that. Exceedingly slow conversion rate between the two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Was it Nolnock? Nonok was a very important character as well. Um, Lord Lucian, he had no um, bounty. Sounds like it could be murder. You might want that investigated. It was a guard. Interesting. Hollow. Oh. I already have issues with this guard. Uh, this was the guard who sent me a DM. This is most disturbing. Is there corruption on the inside of our guard force? I mean, Holloway has nothing to do with the Assassin's Guild, so murdering someone for him is just a straight-up murder. Um, uh, we need to find him. Uh, that is an issue. Um... If you can find him and send for me, I think uh, this is a matter we need to solve uh, with discussion, not a sword. But watch yourself and don't die. This is, I mean, if any of the, if I was going to suspect any of the guards of being corrupt, it would be Holloway, simply because, um, you know, He's been an annoyance, but um, Holloway is, uh, is oh, murdering someone is an issue. I don't think he would be intimidated by my soul self. Um, fetch for more assistance amongst the guards. Scooby uh, might also be able to help. Hmm, this is an issue. I did not know. I mean, I was always expecting corruption to happen. Okay, but on this server, the rate at which I expected corruption to happen, there was if there's a list, the tier list would be the IRS would be at the top of the list, and then at the bottom of the list would probably be the guards. Um, we will hunt for this man and have him brought for justice. May I have one little nip of uh, meat now, sire? <laughs> uh, have some pork for your info. Um, I wish you luck. Alert me when it is done. Very good. Okay. So now now we have anti-corruption investigations to worry about. Is that Minty? Oh my god, it's Minty. <laughs> He's just wandering through the, <laughs> through the world here. <laughs> Where's he off to? What is he doing? 
And why has he got a shovel in his hand? Oh my goodness. Peasants are doing a really good job out here as well. My king, I beg of thee, there is there has been a bounty put on my head, and as such I have had to go into hiding. Um, I beg thee to find it in your heart to pardon my bounty, bless you, and thank you, my king. Uh, yeah, you're, there's nothing I can do about a bounty. It's not done by me, it's done by other individuals. I don't control it. Um, if you wish to have it removed, you can probably petition someone uh, in the guild. I'd recommend that would probably be the fastest way. Um, so go speak to Ood. Because no bounty needs to be a death sentence with the right convincing. Do, 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 do. Where is that Minty? He was wandering around here. Um, where has he actually wandered off to? Or oh, is he down there? No, that's just another peasant. Oh, it's fire. Um, but yeah, I'd much rather they build the Yorkshire Tea sign. It's of great importance to me to have the Yorkshire Tea sign. I should make my own brand of tea. That's uh, that's definitely um, <laughs> it's definitely something uh, which <laughs> I, I can't do. I love Yorkshire tea too much. I can't stab them in the back. Hello, fire. You have proven to be an excellent servant. I will personally overturn it. Why not? He's been a good person. He's built a massive sign. I mean, what kind of person... What person would kill someone who builds a massive Yorkshire tea sign? I don't even think anyone could find it in their heart to murder someone who loves tea as much as that. I mean, no one would murder me because of how much I love tea. That's just a given. Like, could you murder someone who just wants to drink tea? Probably. If it's the wrong kind of tea. Like, if you saw that... If you saw the viral video on Twitter, which was the... Uh, those Americans who made supposed sweet tea by just pouring about half a bag of sugar and, I don't know, a bunch of bath water or something. It was, it was disgusting. Absolutely horrible. Truly a... Oh, I can't even... I can't even express how pain-inducing it was to see the video of two American people trying to make tea in the most horrible way possible. Oh, my goodness. It was disgusting, yes. Oh, that video was the worst. It was the worst. It was absolutely terrible. Microwaving tea too is disgusting. Yeah. If you, um, I mean, if you've left a cup of tea and you don't want to waste a cup of tea, then I understand microwaving it. As long as you accept that it's not going to taste very good afterwards. Um, but like actually microwaving water and then putting a tea bag in it. Now that, that ladies and gentlemen, is where we straddle the line between acceptable tea-based behavior and something which is probably a borderline, borderline war crime. Oh, Holloway is dead and so is Ar Ariopolis. Okay, it seemed Holloway has, um, I'm going to guess he probably tried to go in a blaze of glory fighting the other guards, um, is going to be my guess. I'm going to have to catch up with LOL later and see what happened, because um, that is most interesting. Right, let's see. Uh, fire is not even on the list. <laughs> Why is fire so worried? <laughs> he is not on the list. He has nothing to fear. Why is there a peasant on a horse? Uh, why is there a peasant on a horse? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> What on earth are you doing? Peasant shouldn't be riding horses. This isn't a horse. It isn't a horse. You mean it isn't a horse, my god king spiff. Did he just run away? <laughs> Failfisk, is that an illegal horse I see? It's undocumented. <laughs> Tax him, Vale. Go. <laughs> right, we're going to watch the IRS do their job. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
An undocumented bone horse needs to be tracked down for taxation purposes. Aggressive taxation purposes. <laughs> oh, I love this server. I really do. Hi, Minty. <laughs> the heck is Minty doing? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lowe's here. Hi, Low. Um... What happened? <laughs> I notice uh, we didn't have a trial. <laughs> um, Hollow seems to be uh, dead now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I suppose the issue that I have is that LOL has effectively come to me and, um, and said, there is a guard who is part of corruption and I saw him murder someone. No one else has said that they've noticed this. And then the guard is now dead. <laughs> so for all I know, Lol has murdered two people. I have no proof though, so I don't mind. Uh, Lol can go about and do as he likes. Um, oh my goodness, my king, he escaped. Um, keep an eye out for him, uh, novel. Um, also deal with this peasant... Uh, Budgetary. He is annoying me. Press uh, him into uh, service. <laughs> I just think he needs something to keep him busy. Uh, I was conversing with our Holy Father Bishop about our Holy Legion uh, happening. Uh, we received a, a bird about the guard, Holloway dying. Oh, right. I see, so he died of natural causes. A shame, I would have liked to quiz him for an investigation. But I, I believe it to be the just hand of fate at play here. It makes sense, it makes perfect sense. Um, it is just justice. Is this also... Yeah, this is the bone boy. <laughs> Here he is. Ah. Uh, the one on the bone horse. His horse has been dealt with. <laughs> oh, good. Well done, Vale. Shepard says I can speak to horses. You will have to... To learn to speak to... Uh, speak to ghosts if you're not um, careful I'm disappointed uh, Shepherd um, <laughs> did he just spell check someone no he did not that's fine um, <laughs> Shepherd uh, what do you actually do um, for the kingdom? Because if this man's job is just walking around and collecting horses, um, he spell-checked a god king. If he spell-checked a god king, that's an issue. It's a big issue. This man broke the tax code itself. It says right here. Oh. Novel, please uh, escort uh, him to the prison. Um, the Justice Department will deal with him now. If he runs, uh, get Lol to deal <laughs> with it. <laughs> yes, horses are to be taxed 100%, which is why uh, peasants on horses, not allowed. Uh, very much not allowed. Oh, Wibson just died. Oh, oh, Wibson. Oh, he was a good soul. A really good soul. He truly is. Um, uh, that is a shame. He was a fine addition to the server. I would like to personally see his grave commissioned. Well, um, it deserves more. Um, uh, Pascal, I require a fancy grave for uh, Whipsom. He was a good man, a just man. 
We didn't see eye to eye, but that is okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god, look at the grave! Oh my god, the graveyard is filled out so quickly. Oh my god. Oh my god, this we have no room in the grave in our graveyard. Then construct a small monument just outside the graveyard. Um I mean actually I suppose I can I can find the resources for this graveyard someplace. What have they got? They've got some stone. Um let me uh let me see what I can do. Because we've got a nice little bit of terrain here, and it just doesn't get used, so it makes sense for us to have a um, a little monument. Uh, oh goodness, there's another one. They really do drop like flies. Uh, we had 58 people die last session, but last session was um, six hours long. This is probably going to be about half the time. Um, <laughs> I feel like we've already almost had as many people die. Oh goodness. Good. There we go. Pascal is clearing things out. Right. I wish for a, uh, a holy monument to be here. Um, probably. Oh, I just dropped my Yorkshire tea on the ground. Oh, beans. My Minecraft crashed. Oh, there we go. It's back. Close. Play. <laughs> Need a catacombs. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Do, 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 do. There we go. Back onto the world. Lovely. Alright, I wish for there to be a, a small lantern here. Actually, wait. This could probably do with having some stone underneath it. And then a small lantern. And then a, a, a lovely sign. Rest in peace, uh, Whipsome. A brave man. Defiant to the last. Uh, to the last. Ah, oh, perfect. What a truly... He, he was going to try and contribute to society. Whilst he wasn't perfect, he was contributing to society. Um, oh, what is this? Someone has suspicion. Uh, Your Majesty, I have reason to suspect Lake Runner HD who killed Whipsome. Oh. Phoenix. This is interesting so we actually okay this is very interesting tell me more okay if we actually know who killed Whipson then we can bring someone to justice for the death of apparently two individuals because uh, Whipson was killed by a minor one of our others was also was almost killed by him oh my goodness Celerop was also almost killed. My own... Um, oh my. Can you bring... Uh, Slowort uh, to the... Uh, courthouse. Um, courthouse. Uh, I wish to get extra information from the witness. Right. I'll go wait at the courthouse. Sounds like we actually have a, a full-scale murder mystery investigation um, <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> I'm most interested by this. Oh, this is very exciting. Who who killed Whipsom? And also, I think the person who killed Whipsom was also the person who killed Nock. Uh, no Nock, because No Nock wasn't actually killed by the guild necessarily. I think, um, or rather, the guild claimed responsibility for it, but I don't think they actually killed No Nock. Um, oh, I see. Is this the, uh, is this the court? All right. Hi, Novel. Um, how can I help? Do, 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 do. Is Berserker alive? No, I think he died to a mob a while back. He has been imprisoned. Good. Um, the court system will now deal with him. Ah, right. So who is the person we're looking out for? We're looking out for um, Lake Runner HD um, as the person who uh, 
Right. I, I, oh my goodness, I need space. Oh, this is the place. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully Salot will come around here. Salot. Um, tell me about the incident. Oh my goodness, True Panic has died and left the world. That's a new crazy message. Um, I'm interested to hear about this whole murder case, though. Very, oh, golden helmet with uh, armor 2. Nice. Protection 1. Very good. Uh, Lake Runner HD was a fellow miner of the quarry. Okay. Why would he turn on a fellow guild member suddenly attacked you from behind with an iron sword most no strange certainly a crime hmm this is very interesting a full on midsummer murder going on in here exactly Dave Wolf it's an exciting midsummer murder you ran for your life oh wow we've got proper death messages now Rest in peace to Conium TV. He has also died and left the world. A wise choice. Thank you for, for this information. I will see... Um, oh my goodness. I will see uh, Lake Runner brought to justice very good i love how everyone now bows in my presence very 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 good right uh now to just find lake runner that's going to be the biggest issue um and for that oh it's raven hobo are you still alive hey hobo oh very good um Hello, Oud. Um, I require a person brought to me. Um, summon the guards. We need a lake runner brought to us alive. Um, use the uh, cuff command to drag him. Yes, Wusty. Uh, we have a murderer in our midst. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know. For all I know, Lake Runner could be a part of the Assassin's Guild. And if he is, he was found out, and so he will get tried and killed. Because the Assassin's Guild are not above the law. They are simply people who get suggested things to do, um, and will get killed when, dis uh, when detected. Because he disappeared... Oh, who also disappeared into thin air. Okay. Ah... <sighs> The mute died? Oh no, tell Timo the mute died. Oh, he was a lovely guy. He couldn't use the chat. <laughs> oh, and Furry Carnival 69. <laughs> Furry Carnival 69, what a username. Good God. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, is this a church? This is a second church. Spiff T the Queen. The Trinity. Any pious come here and receive charity. Welcome to St. Matthew's Cathedral. St. <laughs> <Saint> Matthew's. <laughs> Matthew's a saint now, is he? We are humbled in the gaze of Spiff our Lord. Oh my goodness. It's not much, but it's on his tea. Oh, look at this beautiful place. Lol, are you okay on the floor? Oh, goodness. Seat for my Lord Spiff. Long live the king. I've, of course, got a nice fancy reclining chair. Oh, look at this incredibly beautiful church. Oh, this is fantastic. I love that we have two rival churches as well. Oh. Chat, why are you pressing F for Furry Carnival 69? We were not invested in the plotline of Furry Carnival 69. <laughs> or maybe we are now, I don't know. <laughs> oh, do, we want a, do we want a special uh, memorial for Furry, Furry Carnival 69? Is this important to you, chat? Is this necessary? Is it what you're looking for in life? Do you need this closure? Okay, is that what you want? The amount of Fs imply that you do want this. Yes, we ask if you're invested in Furry Carnival. 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm very invested now. I was invested for all of the character art. Okay. Okay, right. Um uh, uh, Pascal, uh, I wish to commission a monument uh, for Furry Carnival uh, 69. Furry Carnival was the other tavern keep, apparently. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Outback wishes to uh, pass on some words uh make sure they are remembered <laughs> okay um out back you may speak um tell us about this legendary character <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Let's find out who Furry Carnival 69 was then, chat. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh. oh. Apparently Draconium died getting yeeted by a creeper whilst building a banner. Rest in peace, Draconium. Good attempt on the server, I will say. Braden White, thanks for uh, 159 Australian dollars. Hey, Spiff, I got one of your Spiffco mugs and my mum put coffee in it and the handle broke. It's entirely possible. That's exactly what happens. They're meant to explode, though. Furry Carnival 69, you were you. Truly, uh, truly lived up to his name. Uh, he was indeed a furry carnival and his favourite number, 69. <laughs> oh, so deep. This is so sad. I'm touched by your words. Can we get some big Fs in the chat? Truly moving. What a character. I wish I knew him more. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> F. <laughs> Oh, I can give some sides to Pascal. There we go. Oh. Lol, what is it with lol and just lying on the floor? Um, regarding a man on a horse powered by necromancy. Uh, lol, that man was apprehended by the IRS. Uh, you will need to ask them. Oh my goodness, rest in peace, furry carnival. Truly a hero of the people. Truly a hero. Did I just see redstone over here? I thought I saw redstone for a very brief period. Um, apparently I'm the only one who can say Pascal the Third, right? Why, how, how on earth does everyone else say it? Pascal? I don't know. Maybe I even say it wrong. <laughs> that moment you steal the stream of your death? It's a powerful thing to do, chat. A very powerful thing to do. To die. It's uh, often the bravest thing that people can do. What the hell is wrong with LOL? Why can't he just walk normally? Why is he so weird? <laughs> oh. What is wrong with the jail cell? <laughs> I'm good slider. You are a good slider. I will give you that. Shame pile. Bye, Spiff. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, goodness. Oh. What else did I receive? I, I haven't gone through the donations. I'm terribly sorry. Um, Z Games g gave $5 to say, Minty, if you want to really rebel, stop throwing his Yorkshire tea off the ship into the harbour. That's exceedingly not allowed, Z Games. And you mentioned sipping coffee in a donation to me. That's one of the rudest things an individual can do. Truly rude. Most disappointed. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Um... Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. Uh, P in chat for petting zoo for furry carnival 69. Is that how we're coming to terms with his death? We're not having F, we're instead having a P, apparently. Is that is that how, is that what you say when a furry dies? Is that is that the term? Pascal the third died? What? Let's get over there quickly, quickly. No. No. 
Pascal, no! No! He was doing a useful job. There's like hardly any individuals doing a useful job for society. What killed Pascal? He was here just a moment ago. Oh my goodness, is there like a mob around here? Where is his body? The grief overtook him. <laughs> he couldn't take his death. How could you take the loss of a, of a furry? I know it's, it's a truly emotional time for everyone here. Oh my goodness. Did he die in the church or something? In memory of all that perish. Uh, oh my goodness. Where did he die? Where did he die? I'm most upset. Um, what killed Pascal? Did he just die to a creeper? <laughs> oh my goodness. I found his body. Oh. Oh. How did he die here? This is very confusing. <laughs> oh my god, is Scoob leading a congregation to the church? Yes, of course he is. Of course he is. Hmm. Uh, keep an eye out for strange people. Hmm. Oh. The bounty, there was a bounty on Pascal, you're right, but it doesn't seem like he was actually murdered. It just seems like he died. Um, so I don't know how he died. And he's standing right here and there are people all around, so they'd notice if there was actually PvP. Um, may they have a carnival in heaven together. I wish the same. Uh, Dr. Vykil, um, did you see uh, what happened to Pascal? I do believe he died due to gravity. He died to... Oh my god. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you one way that he could have actually died. Um, there is an issue where if you try and sit on a stair uh, and you come out, you can sometimes glitch into the train and take like half a heart of damage. So it's entirely possible he was walking around on no health and died due to gravity. Ah. <sighs> What is apparently happening? There's a large crevice underneath. Oh! Oh, you're right. Yes, I forgot. We have a massive pit in the ground underneath the um, underneath the uh, actual graveyard. Yes, there's actually, if we do slash GMSP and go under here, this. Oh, this is where he died. He fell through the floor. <laughs> he was digging here and he fell through the floor. Pascal, no! Oh, Pascal. Well, there we go. Murder mystery solved. Murder mystery solved. Apparently there's a service here. So I will stay and observe. I'm most interested by what's happening here. Ah. Shepard sends me a message. Can you pardon me? I, did, I didn't do anything wrong. Shepard, you're on a horse that breaks the tax law. And then you also break the law by messaging me. I'll have to deal with this in time. Um, very upsetting. Oh my goodness. Apparently Scoob is having an argument between Caslin. You godless heretic. You, you godless coward. How dare you enter my church, silence heretic. <laughs> Who is the heretic? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seth Boyer says, There is no doubt in my mind that LOL is a serial killer. I mean, he'd have to dig out the ground from underneath Pascal to throw him under, but it's entirely possible because Lol was aware. Um, is Lol a guard in the Assassin's Guild? No, Lol is actually someone who has a hit placed on his head. So he's kind of the reverse of the Assassin's Guild at the moment. Um, how dare you call me a heretic? You killed him with no form of crimes. I did no such thing. You underhanded the growth of my church oh it's a you're greedy and only first for power it's a fight between the two churches we ha we have castlin's church on the other side of town and they have scooby ch scooby's church right, i'm going to observe this as the bishop's personal guard i can attest that he has killed no one 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this is very interesting. Kaslin says, I will find you in the arena Tears Vault. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> we can't have two popes fighting each other. Is it a time for the battle pope? <laughs> Dragonfire says, you're under arrest for threatening the bishop. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Your friend Asylum died due to drowning. It's pope battle. <laughs> People want Pope Battle, apparently. Heck yeah. Who doesn't love Battle Pope? <laughs> it's like, um, if you remember Robot Wars, it's like that, but old, elderly clergymen bumping around in, uh, in little cars. Tears Vault chat. Tears Vault. It's Pope fight time. It seems the people request a fight. Scoob, you must fight. You have God on your side, and God is me. So that's a good combo. <laughs> uh. Apparently, so what's happened here is Castellin had one disciple who was helping him and his disciple died due to drowning, but he is 100% convinced that his disciple died due to the acts of the Pope. Um, anyway, sounds like we're going to have a, uh, sounds like we're going to have ourselves a Battle Pope session. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Steve Jones, $20. Something must be awarded for the Tears Vault invention. Indeed. Oh, wait, I need to do a shift, otherwise I'm invisible. There we go. Oh. And now I am sat on top of my little hut. Interesting. Um, that should be different. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, my goodness. Slash royal um, burb. Oh, wait, no. Slash burb uh, royal. Um, come to the arena for the one and only battle pope uh, fight. <laughs> Watch as two elderly clergy uh, men fight over who whose god um, is on their side. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like the most interesting fight I've ever seen. Apparently, chat thinks this is Benedict versus Francis. Nope, this is um, uh, uh, Bishop Scooby Ted versus uh, Vikel, who is oh no, Castellin, sorry, who is um, the independent owner of a separate church entirely. Apparently, Scooby Ted has the Holy Spirit on his side. The Holy Spirit of T, um, the greatest spirit. Ah, uh, this is good. Uh, Castellin, enter the arena. <clears throat> I mean, it's not particularly going to be a fair fight because one of them has dim uh, sorry, gold armor. I mean, gold armor is not good, um, uh, but it, you know, it's better than Castellin's fine two-piece suit or whatever. The Church of Spiff is less than T. Uh, is is lesser than T. Into the arena with you. <laughs> he can have some food, food to heal himself up. Um, don't fight yet. You will go on my command. Uh, make sure you are at full health. <laughs> this will be interesting. Yes, it's a bunch of elderly people fighting amongst themselves. Imagine if... Nowadays, modern religious disputes could be settled by getting elderly men, giving them uh, iron and stone axes and just putting them in a pit and having them fight. Oh, pumpkin pie. That's very nice. Right. Time for me to drink some tea. Okay. Today we test whose god is stronger. Um, and who I shall side and in all future spiritual advice. 
Good luck. May you fight well and with um, tea. On the sound of the bell, uh, you may go. All right, here we go. The ultimate fight. Oh, let's see it go. It's Scooby versus Castellin. They just both jumped through each other and missed. Uh, they once again jumped through each other. <laughs> uh, Connor. Can we get PvP turned on? <laughs> Please insert technical difficulties here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Cleric of Light Take, perhaps this is a sign. Um, this is no sign. Uh, please ignore. <laughs> oh. A divine intervention. God has prevented the death of one, of the one true Pope Scooby Ted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Now, oh, beans. Oops. <laughs> oh, Notori has died. Oh, Notori finally died. He was way out in the middle of the wilderness. He probably died to a skeleton or something. But he was literally 2,000 blocks in that direction, so... F. Probably died of natural causes, because I don't think anyone in the Assassin's Guild is bothered to literally leave a 500 meter radius. Um... Uh, give us two minutes. <laughs> we were. <laughs> it's a um, shame uh, we don't have any interval planned. Actually, um, <laughs> Vale, would you like uh, to do a, a speech? Oh, wait, Ood would like to dance. Ood, can you do a uh, dance? And uh, Wusty, do jester stuff. Entertain the peasants. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Spectators should do a Mexican wave. What a great idea. Spectators do a Mexican uh, wave. Um, starting uh, going left uh, from me. Three, two, one, jump. Let's see him go. <laughs> God, this is the worst Mexican wave I've ever seen. Look at how inefficient it is. Oh, that is actually terrible. <laughs> that was the worst wave I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my God. The sink is just not there. Oh my God. Oh, no, apparently they're trying to fight. You, you still can't fight. <laughs> you still can't fight. <laughs> Random is fixing it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, well, look at that. The guard has a um, refer skill over there, has a, uh, a Union Jack banner. I'm amazed that refer skill is still existing because um, uh, he, he was the first person to break a, a crime, if I remember. But he was also the, um, he was then al almost immediately promoted to a position of power and guarding supplies after breaking a crime. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, oh, wait. Wusty, uh, tell me a joke. <laughs> really put Wusty on the spot here, but I'm very interested. Very interested to see what he comes up with. <laughs> what crime did the uh, did he do? Oh, um, I 
I remember it was something really minor, like just talking back to me or stealing an item or having too many items. It was it was absolutely nothing. Um, uh. All right. Uh. What's the what is this joke? <laughs> How long does does it take for you to make a joke? <laughs> Wait, is it because he's the other side of the arena I didn't see him? Oh my goodness. Oh wait, apparently- Oh, they can fight now! Oh my goodness, Pope Fight is on! Pope Fight is- Oh, wow. Wow. I guess God chose- uh, correctly. <laughs> well done, Scoob. That was incredible. Pure skill. Um, I'm not going to lie. Considering Scoob did that in one hit, I'm pretty sure uh, that is a sign of God. Uh, <laughs> Krellis also went into the arena with no health because he is an absolute idiot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, a great display. Well done. Scoob, you are the one true religious leader. You must spread the word of me. There we go. Ah, fantastic stuff. What a lovely event. Uh, in terms of other entertainment, uh, the peasants actually got up some really good stuff. They built a new tavern, um, which is here. Uh, I don't think it's completely finished yet, but it's uh, oh, run by Furry Carnival 69. Run by Sad Snail as Furry Carnival passed away. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Furry Carnival 69. Oh, and then um, apparently, oh, we've got a nobility stand here. What's, oh, is this for, oh, this is for the, uh, for the flame executions. Yes, very important. Ah, oh, yes. This is absolutely perfect. I love this. I really do. Um, oh, this is beautiful. XX Cyber Nomad has died. Rest in peace, XX Cyber Nomad. Oh. What is this? Oh, and this is all hard left stuff. Then we have the church over here. You see, the biggest issue with the church is that mobs can actually spawn on the church, which is a bit of a crazy issue. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. What is going on here? Um, hi. What's this about a conspiracy? Mm, these guys are talking conspiracy over here. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'm most interested by this. Create an auction house for those who die. Oh, I see. So uh, we can auction off their stuff. Olaf alerted me to a problem with the guards. What is the issue with the guards? Hmm. This is most interesting. There's rumors and conspiracies about. Some number of them, as was previously shown, are not loyal to you nor nobles. This is a great issue. We must uh, summon all of the guards to the castle uh, for a very important meeting. Olaf came to me for help as the tax man. Tax men can be armed as well and can deal with a problem should it come to it. Uh, very good. Bring all your finest men. We will uh, root out the problemed guards. Oh yeah, Ood needs some paper. Right, there we go. See you at the castle. Right, this will be good. Looks like we're having a meeting of the guards. Uh, not only did we have a, uh, a mass murder amongst the guards, it now seems like we have guards who just straight up aren't loyal. 
And so we have an Inquisition going on. Uh, what mod pack is this? This isn't a mod pack. This is entirely vanilla Minecraft with just a bunch of server plugins. It is absolutely incredible what you can just do with a bunch of plugins. Truly, absolutely amazing. Um, some very, very enlightening stuff. Right. Uh, through here we must go. Oh my goodness, it's it's Shepard again. <laughs> oh. Hello, uh, we will be having an important meeting at uh, the back of the castle. Direct all guards there. Right, to the back of the castle we go. We need somewhere nice and open. Um, what's going on here? Castle kitchens. I see that I see that Enderman in there. We are going to ignore that because Endermen on this mod pack are absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's cut our way through here as well. Um, I want it at the back of the castle so we don't have anyone wandering into the wrong spot. Oh. Do, 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 do. oh my goodness, there are quite a lot of zombies here. I suppose this is the first test for the um, for the uh, guards. Um, right, don't even have any torches. Ah, good. The summoning of the guard. No one expects the spiffing Inquisition. Yet yeah, part of me wonders if this is a um, a Warhammer forty k esque Inquisition where we're going to fabric, well, where all of this has been fabricated out of nowhere, and um, yes. Uh, which is yeah, uh, is is an issue, um, but who knows? It could be that they're all uh, they're all actually true. Is this all the guards? This uh, seems a little short. Slash burp. Ow! Any pesky spider. Slash, uh, burp, royal. Um, guards come to the back of the castle. It is of great importance. <sighs> they will have, apparently they didn't heed the king, but of course they will have to answer to that. If they do not, they are traitors to the king. Oh my goodness, have we got a guard uprising? <laughs> Ood is plotting against you by taking out all of the royal guards. It, I don't think that's the case. Ood has always been loyal to me. I mean, sure, he maybe fabricated a lot of stuff onto Minty, but it feels justified. Um, <laughs> oh. We just hired a new guy to stand guard outside of the warehouse. Okay. Um, all right, there we go. So we still have someone guarding the warehouse. That's fine. So uh, we, we should be safe if all of the guards are here. Um, surely the town will fall without the guards in it. Uh, no, one peasant on the uh, warehouse should uh, be fine. Hmm. This is this is still very concerning. The distinct lack of guards here. So if we look at the uh, list, there are um, of the of the guards. We have one, two, three, four, f uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine people who would class as guards, not excluding the knights. So um, yes. Where is Lowell? Wait, Lowell's not here. That's an issue, because Lowell was the one who reported all of the crimes. If it turns out Lowell was fabricating an entire murder plot to kill people... Oh my god, this, consp it, this conspiracy gets deeper and deeper. 
Oh, here comes some people. Interesting. Um, right, this looks more like it. Why are all of you late? Hmm. Apologies for the delay. I want an explanation. Okay. Woosty was late on just a business. Um, I was looking for you there. Okay. I do not have a castle. Oh. Lol is making up excuses. Then I got told to go the wrong direction, and so I went in a full circle. Lol, well, I am disappointed. But for the moment... We have more pressing matters. Um, Veilfisk, please uh, announce the concerning news. <laughs> right, so these are all the people loyal to the crown, effectively who are guards. Although some of them could be wrong. Uh, they, they could just be here pretending to be loyal to the crown. Maybe they have other allegiances. Maybe they're... For all I know, they could actually be in allegiance with Minty, which is an issue. Word from Hardalaf is that we have a conspiracy among you. Oh. <laughs> Just ignore that explosion. <laughs> Indeed, uh, this is most concerning. Um, we brought you here to determine who is truly loyal to the king. Oh, there's Connor running around. Good stuff. <laughs> we must. Um, <laughs> I forget, the footmen aren't actually necessarily aligned with me. They're aligned with the church, so they're technically Templars. Oh, my goodness. Um, I've been guarding the estate of Hardlaf for many nights. I hope we find this crude... It oh, my God, is that a... That's a... That's an Enderman. It's going to kill Scoob. It's going to kill Scoob. Oh my god, it's going to kill Scoob. <laughs> so, um, oh thank god. So I cannot stress enough, Enderman in this mod pack, well, it's not a mod pack, sorry. Enderman in this, um, uh, in this, pl with a plug-in, are basically stupidly ridiculous. They will shave off half your health in a hit. Um, they are very spooky, very spooky. I believe Low planted the Enderman. Low, what say you to planting... The Enderman. <laughs> Maybe Lord did plant the Enderman. We do not know. These are concerning things and concerning times. You would... Uh, how would I plant an Enderman in broad daylight? You would need to use witchcraft. Perhaps... You also dabble in redstone. Um, slash MC. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, the lol 11. Hmm. His inventory seems normal. He has a potion of no effect. Oh, wait. Actually, that's uh, that's different. That's uh, just inventory stuff. Um, he doesn't actually have that. Wow, he just has a pretty standard looking thing. Hmm. I reported many crimes and offered my work to you, Sai, many times. You are indeed correct. Law has uh, assisted with a murder investigation. Okay, apparently Draken Falcon is assessed to Law being honourable. So for the time being, he's fine. I reckon he's fine. I don't think he's bad. Enderman was a sign that Scoob is guilty. How is... Oh, I suppose the Enderman did immediately lock on to Scoob. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All is pardoned for now. Um, I am mostly concerned by... Um, Um, oh my 
God, you try and put the Assassin's Guild, it just auto corrects the Donuts Guild. <laughs> it's the Donuts Guild. God damn it, Donuts Guild. Uh, Spiff, you know how to test witches. Witches burn when they are made out of wood. Uh, wood floats, chickens float. If someone weighs the same as a chicken, they're a witch. You know what, this is a good test. Um... <laughs> Oh my goodness, the Donuts Guild are indeed a severe threat. Um, <laughs> I'd say we eat them immediately. <laughs> they seek to poison us with their gluttonous ways. Oh my goodness. We should build a scale to determine who is a witch. Yes, we need a, um, a witch testing scale. Uh, there are two people I want tested. Um, what's his name? Teleport. And uh, the suspected murderer of uh, of No Knock. What's this? <clears throat> the killing of my men without a trial is a violation of our laws, Ood. Uh, why would the great god king pay simple donuts for a peasant's kill he would have uh have them tried and burnt <laughs> the assassins are not, a, are not above the law but smith is the law <laughs> oh goodness after this, the treasury requires uh, you to sign the new currency. Oh, yes, I need to go sign a new currency, don't I? Um, fetch a budge um, and bring him to the church. Set up a new testing chamber. If you know what I mean, go. We will see... Um, we will remain vigilant for any, um, uh, any threats in the guards. For the time being, we have no evidence. Right, there we go, onwards. Good stuff. I think this is fine. Should have the entrance to the Assassin's Guild hidden in a, go in a donut shop. Brilliant idea. Absolutely splendid idea. Oh, look, it's a red coat. <laughs> oh, they're building a lovely statue here. What is this? Treasure area access restricted. Oh, this is the treasure area. I see. Depository and treasury offices. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, my goodness. This is very cool what they're constructing. HG Wells says this way. Okay, I've got to go back. What is over here? The signatures of the spound piffing uh, of the pound spiffing. Right. Oh, I need to sign this, don't I? Yes. Okay. Assistant Jack, Treasurer, Imperial Fish. <laughs> Gold King Spiff. We would be honoured if you could sign our hundred uh, pound note. I would love to. Okay, so we basically, Imperial Fish has spent the last four days or so um, uh, setting up a currency system where basically all of the currency needs to be signed by the nobility and then it gets duplicated and circulated amongst for the peasants, um, which is incredible. I absolutely love it. Um, I have Vale's note here as an example of the title. Okay, this seems good. Let's see what Vale's note is like. Um, so this is Royal Treasury, fifty pound spiffing, as decreed by the spiffing Brit. Oh, this is incredible. And then this is uh, one hundred spiffing pounds. 
I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of, oh, this is beautiful. And then which one's this? Um, I would like to make a request to carry a wooden sword. What? Oh, it's Whipson's last message. He gave me a message. I would like to request permission to carry a wooden sword. <laughs> to clear cobwebs. Oh, Whipson. Rest in peace. <laughs> that was his last message. Oh, right. Um, yes, I need to sign this. As decreed by God, King, Spiffing Brit. X, X, X. Perfect. I have uh, signed it. Now, oh wait, I actually need to right click and hit sign, don't I? Um, 100 pounds spiffing. Wait, how does it look actually? Uh, oh, it hasn't actually got a title page. Okay, right, sign 100 pound spiff. It's all I can fit. Sign and close. And there we go. The Vault Manager Imperial Fish. Um, also in charge of looking after the, uh, the vault as well as uh, all currency stuff. My goodness. And then we've got the Treasury Offices. We've, we've got a tax sheriff here apparently. This is absolutely incredible what they've built. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Oh my lord. Look at this horrific treasury office. It just feels, you feel truly just trapped in it. I love it. That's exactly how a treasury office should feel. Like a disgusting abomination you can't ever escape. Oh my goodness. What if someone prints fake money? Well, they would be arrested and murdered. Sorry, not murdered. Uh, justicized is the new term I'm going for. Uh, that's when we have to kill someone using the justice system. Justicized. <laughs> it's catchy, trust me. Ah, oh, right. Uh, my Lord Bergerid has been found and he's at the church. Fantastic, Scooby. This is brilliant information. I will now head over to the church. Right, this is the first person I would like to be tested for being a witch. Um, simply because he follows me around. And I feel like he is trying to curse me by his presence. <laughs> Ah, very exciting. Well, uh, well done, guards. Please uh, place uh, budget diary in the testing chamber. Um, Scooby, test to the maximum level you can that he is not corrupted by redstone oh this is perfect <laughs> oh right up into the nobility stand i go <laughs> oh fantastic <laughs> he's gone into the little chamber Oh, Bergerie, please, I make tea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fear not, uh, uh This is just a test to see if you are a witch. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness oh, we are gathered here today to begin the test of this young peasant <laughs> oh, and hopefully this time the entire stand won't fade away into uh, very aggressive mobs my goodness oh, if he will not burn he is a witch <laughs> oh there we go he trusts us he trusts us that this is a fair fair test the flint and steel is missing. Ah, oh, yes, the uh, the testing flint and steel. Ah, oh, the uh, testing flames. <laughs> oh my goodness! Right, the testing flames are getting added back in. Good luck. May the Holy Trinity uh, guide 
you. He didn't burn. Oh my goodness. He must be a witch. <laughs> he is resisting the burn. <laughs> he must be a witch. It's a justified and fair trial. This isn't, it has got nothing to do with the Salem witch trials. It's fair. Oh. <laughs> He's half witch, apparently. You're right. As he is clearly. May the flames absolve you of your sins. Hmm. He does seem to be half witch. Perhaps he can be reformed. Scooby, under your guidance, reform him to the way of the T. Take not the path of redstone and instead the holy uh, trinity. Right, he is freed. Uh, he has proven that he can... Whilst he is not one with the fire, he is free. <laughs> You'll devote yourself to the church. Uh, lead a good, reformed life. There we go. <laughs> We've done well. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What's this? Master Archer, Mr. Stan. Oh, yes, the archery range. Oh, have they actually got a bow and arrow? Because I would like to give this a go. It does seem good fun. Practice arrows for return. Well, kind of don't have a bow. Um, beans. <laughs> uh, maybe there's a bow hidden way up here. No. Maybe right up at the top? Please, I want to have archery competition. No, there is no bow. Oh dear. I will have to go and commission a bow and I will ask the tax guild to do so. <laughs> oh. oh wow, it's someone with Scoob's old skin before he became a 70 year old priest. Can peasants use bows? Of course peasants can't use bows. Um, they're especially not allowed to have bows. That's definitely not allowed. East pack 764 just died. Rest in peace. That's another one. Rest in peace. That poor little chappy. Oh my goodness. Look at the expansion of the graveyard. This is just getting absolutely crazy. Here lies Pascal the Third. He dug your graves. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Furry Carnival 69. What, a, what an incredible soul. Um, truly blessed. Perhaps I put a piece of gold here. No. Gold is too valuable. Even for Furry Carnival 69. Secretly, redstone is coffee powder. Oh my god, that makes perfect sense. It's now head cannon. It is perfect head cannon. Yes, Low. What does Low want now? Hopefully, he's found a criminal. Well, Slash dealt with it as well. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm walking here. Well, no, I'm just standing here and a peasant walks by and bows without even <laughs> noticing me. He's just aware that, of my presence and doesn't want to draw attention to himself, which is the right way to lead a peasant life. Very safe peasant life. Lol is the criminal. I don't know, there's been limited evidence. Does Lol have a real boss to report to? Always bothering the God King? Good point. I was to inquire about your um, internet broadcast. How much longer will we <laughs> until we disappear into a form of stasis for a week? Uh, the stasis will last two weeks this time. And you are right. We best go into stasis. Right. But 
first a group picture for the progress. Everyone. Uh, I've, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll end the stream soon because you know I have limited abilities to stream for more than three hours, but I want to get everyone together for a lovely, great big group picture, as I think that would be brilliant. So let's all go to ooh, where would be a nice photogenic spot. I mean, in front of the castle seems quite good, um, but then again, I don't have a seat there, so it makes more sense for it to be somewhere where I have a seat, like say the big, great big grandstand. Yeah, this makes sense. All right. Um, slash burb royal. Uh, last event of the day. Uh, picture time at the uh, church near the arena. Peasants stand in your. Well, no, peasants sit in your place nobles by me there we go and hopefully uh, we'll get a nice picture out of this uh, Connor or Random if one of you guys wants to do the picture or Connor if you can set up your alt account to take the picture that would be pretty cool um, I think that would be good oh, I need to shift click actually oh yeah Connor's already on the case he's sat next to me lovely my right hand man uh, oh, oh yeah uh, face toward the fire pit not me. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. There's Connor's alt account. Sorry, I mean, there's the uh, assassination, uh, <laughs> the assassination character. Yes, uh, totally zero importance. Yes, please ignore. Um, oh my goodness! Look at all the peasants. All hundred and fifty of them. <laughs> oh my god! This is a lot of players. <laughs> this is a crazy amount of players. Oh yeah, you can do slash Sid if you can't find a seat. I forgot we had that command. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we still have people coming in though. I can see their name tags running in off the distance, which is beautiful. <laughs> oh, we got Veil Fisk over there, very good. IRS, we've got LOL here, a good guard. Um, and of course, HG Wells. Outback, uh, please be seated. Uh, use slash sit. Right, there we go. Very good. Very good. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to herd cats like this? It's incredible. Uh, what are you going to do now that the electrician died? We're just going to have to turn off all of the power on the server, Evan Gage. Thank you for your $5. Thank you, Polar Void, as well, for your 13 Canadian dollars. Seriously, thank you very much. I'm very glad that you enjoyed the stream, Polar Void. Um, any song requests? No, we're not having Stal again. I will literally tear my hair out if I hear more Stal. Um, perfect. I think we have everyone here. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, this is amazing. Considering we have 150 players sat in front of me and I'm running a ping of 27, I am over the moon by all of the people that made this server possible. It is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, oh yes, a spiff. <laughs> oh my goodness, they all said spiff. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. <laughs> now do one where everyone does a silly face. <laughs> also, I think uh, Veil Fisk blinked in that one. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of this community. It's really good. Well, the server is not necessarily perfect, and we're continuously trying to improve it. Um, we're going to take a break of about two weeks until the next stream, um, so it won't be this. It won't be this coming Saturday. It'll be the Saturday after when you uh, see the next stream, um, uh, and should hopefully be good. 
what would be very good. Uh, we'll make some changes, of course. Um, if you have any things that you enjoyed or didn't enjoy about the server, please hop onto the Discord, post it, uh, and drop a message into the uh, suggestions. Nothing is perfect, and we're always open for change. If you want new features added, or new things taken away, did someone just give me? They gave me. They gave me thirteen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi, Wusty. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. What a lovely, what a lovely society we have. A great big fleshing, jumping pile of human beings. God, they all smell so bad since they all Yes, they uh, certainly smell of the farms. Um, oh my goodness. I'm very glad that we've made um, a great civilization. It's been lovely, really lovely. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, if you have any changes you want to make, then feel free to do so. Well, feel free to suggest them. And uh, that's it for this week. We're now in maintenance mode. I guess all that's left is for me to do a nice reading of all the people who died. So, on this week, we lost Furry Carnival 69, uh, Nartiru, um, a uncom... Um, oh, uh, this is Castellin, who was a heretic, of course, so his name's been scrubbed out. Cyber Nomad, uh, Norak, um, Pascal the Third, who dug half of these, Whitey Blue Flame, One, fr one Two Three, uh, Chinef, Norak, Elismfina, Teal Timo, the Mute, oh, what a shame, Draconium, oh, True Panic, the Vambirian, Lord Lucian from the Discord, B Binky, Smoking Jacket, Hollowly, the potential evil guard, we don't know, who died of perfectly natural uh, causes, Areopolis, Nine Blades Office, Lavina, um, Discaly, and then um, Oracle, Noble Tim Jim, I mean, he was called Noble, so, I mean, I didn't all phrase that, so no wonder he died. Kill Switch, Break It Brock, uh, Zalgrav, Nolnok, rest in peace, Nolnok. Um, you might return, Nolnok. Your contribution to the server was actually exceedingly important, so uh, uh, hop onto the Discord and we'll have a chat about your potential return. Um, neutral Skydiver, may his soul rest beneath the earth. Here lies Dark Descent. Uh, Whipsome, of course, a very brave, defiant individual. Uh... They called Ribide, Rubide? Rubide died, so why is, do we have a Ribide and a Rubide? Trigletti was all right, apparently. FBI Gummy, uh, the first man we had burnt inside the incineration stick. Crispy Buttons, um, uh, and Sapphirite, and Silver Knight Wolf, and Funky Cow. Oh my goodness, Funky Cow. Isan Void, Zanderson, Chocolate Lover 26, Sprite, and of course, Shackleton died twice, last session apparently as well as Duster. All in all, um, an incredible session. Well done, everyone. Um, I think we all deserve a nice little break. So grab, go grab yourself a cup of tea. Um, uh, if you want any... We're, we're more than open for changes. It's not perfect. Um, the donations today were absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. It's a very complicated thing trying to monetize this stream in a meaningful way because I don't like monetizing things in a way where they have a crazy thing um, and can destroy the balance of the server. But at the same time, I want those who aren't on the stream to feel like they ha actually have a um, an impact on what happens on the server and can make meaningful changes. But it's very complicated to actually get that enforced and done. Oh my God. God, I didn't even see that. This this is beautiful. Show us the progress of the buildings. Very well, Bungo. So as you can see, the massive Yorkshire team on the lift is incredible. It's huge. Um, well done for Fire for that, who's now been promoted as well. This is where the uh, mining guild is um, set up. Apparently, oh, they've got some illegal items in a nice chest. That's very good. Um, over here was where Minty had his base camp, although I think Minty might have had to, yeah, Minty had to abandon it evidently because... There's a lot of creeper explosions here, so it looks like it has been uh, long since abandoned. Looks like uh, someone broke into here as well. So yeah, it looks like Minty's had to move his base elsewhere. My god, he did some crazy stuff in here. Um, so I'm sure Minty will return next week as an absolute devil and terror. Or maybe we'll let him back into society, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and yes, if you want to know why we did... Um, 
uh, ban people from the Discord and the server, it's, well, banning people from the server is harder, but we basically have to ban people from the Discord because um, Discord Terms of Service says we're not allowed people under 13. I'm also not comfortable with 13 year olds being on the server anyway, so we ban people who are younger than 14. Uh, it's a very awkward spot and especially if you notice people who are, say, uh, of a young age and they're either uh, talking in Discord or they're, I don't know, they're Patreons maybe even, or they're donating, you have to let just send an email to myself or one of my mods and we'll get it sorted because those are the kind of things which means I can't sleep at night because taking money from kids is a really scummy thing and is only for the likes of the YouTubers on the trending page, not the kind of thing that I like to do. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much um, for all of your help. Boris King, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, my dude. Hope you had a, have a lovely day. The castle is, of course, beautiful. Um, it's really nice. They've done some great stuff with it. Um, Hardalaf's estate is just growing at a stupid rate, of course. The guard's tower is looking good. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much for the mods. Um, Good, think I'm 40. Well, there you go, Luke Lowe. That's the kind of person I like in my community. A nice 40-year-old who is, hates uh, hates Minecraft and thinks it's just full of full of kids because that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's the kind of person I'm looking for to join this Minecraft server. It really is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Please check the tavern. Okay, I'll check the tavern. Uh, can you click that and spam that towards YouTubers? I mean, sure, you can... You can tell YouTubers that I don't like poor financial choices, but most of them will be aware that they probably don't like making the financial choices of taking money from kids. But some YouTubers don't really have a choice or pretend that they don't have a choice. Um, oh my goodness, the tavern is lovely. I can see what they've got going on here. So the aim is to um, take the water bottles, rename them to Yorkshire Tea and sell them, which is, you know, perfect. Very good. And the other tavern is, it's small, it's beautiful, and it's always useful because it has the little meeting room back here as well as the hidden upstairs bit. Um, have you found Sha Shackleton's secret shop by chance? Well, Shackleton died, so probably not yet. Um, what is this down here? Oh, is this the, um, this is the mining guild or the building guild or something. And I think they've moved, they've, yeah, they've since moved offices. What's this extra supply? What is under here? Please donate supplies. Oh, this is for the builders. Okay, makes sense. Oh my goodness. Hey, Captain Jack. Nice to see you in chat, my dude. It's always good fun seeing you crop up on my Twitter threads. Hope you're having a lovely time. Ah. Do, 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 do. Yes, let's not discuss specific YouTubers. Um, all YouTubers are welcome to make their own financial decisions. All YouTubers do. Some of them make decisions which are immoral, but not illegal, and that's perfectly fine. Um, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. And there's no reason for us to really do much. It's just a case of people can, if you wonder why, like, why is there a bunch of makeup videos on YouTube? I don't like watching makeup videos. I want them gone. There's an audience for it, so people will enjoy it. You can't fault the audience and you can't fault the creator because at the end of the day, people have fun. And I think that's kind of all that matters in this world. Um, people having a fun time on their world. And for that, I hope all of you have had fun watching. That's uh, really the aim that we have. And I hope you have a lovely day. All of you, seriously. Um, if you want to watch the video from the last stream, then by all means do it. I also put up a Prison Architect video yesterday, um, which is really good fun. Strongly recommend you give it a watch. And yeah, just thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a lovely time. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with you guys. Um, there's some interesting projects coming. And the main reason we don't have the server open um, next week is because we need it for... A super secret event um, which you'll probably hear more about in I don't know a month or so um, because it'll take a while anyway have a nice evening all hope you have a lovely lovely day go grab yourself a cup of tea a nice meal I can certainly use one um, you have all been lovely um, seriously um, if you have any well, if you want to reach out need a chat give us a shout and we'll be around so bye bye you're very good very good chat very good. Very, very wholesome. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the people who just got here. Uh, hey, Lo. And also, thank you to the Yogs Mods for moderating this. And thank you to um, to uh, Hafnium for doing the mo uh, the bot and Connor for actually setting up 90% of the server with random 
That's crazy. And all the mods as well. They've done a fantastic job. Um, if you join the Discord, be nice to each other and be nice to the mods. Trust me. They're um, they're really... Um, they're great people. Really great people. And they deserve to be treated nicely. And if you treat them nicely, they'll treat you really nicely. So thank you very much. Have a nice time. Is there a link to the Discord? It's discord.gg slash spiffing. Easy as that. Have a nice time. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, and also thank you for the crazy donors. I forgot to mention that. Or maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> You're lovely. <laughs>